Hello and welcome to Cybercast episode 289, the Transformer Action Figure Podcast Show. Uh, today we have quite a bit to look at because we didn't do a show last week, so about three weeks worth of news. Uh, also, well, before we get into the introductions, I just want to let you guys know we haven't had a collection spotlight in a while, but what that is, if you're new to the show, uh, if you have a collection, whether you're just starting out or you've been collecting for years and you've you know, have a huge collection. Uh, if you want to be spotlighted on the show, just take however many pictures your collection demands. And you can send that in emails to me at g1hexatron at gmail.com. Uh, obviously, if you got to send like 10 different emails, that's fine. Just make sure you label them like email one of 10, two of 10. Uh, that way I make sure that I get everything that uh, you wanted to send. Uh, also, if you have like a YouTube or Instagram or whatever, you want to be, you know, shouted out. Uh, make sure you include that in there as well, and we'll be sure to do that. All right, uh, let's get into introductions. We'll start off with you, Rick. Yep, I'm Rick. You can find me on Instagram and sometimes Twitter as Shattered Glass Jazz. Um, my name is Chris. You can find me on. Uh, we have a Facebook page called War Dogs Paintball. We, well, it's kind of in a name. We shoot people, and uh, I like robots, as you can see as well. Sport. Hey, I'm Sportimus, and you can find me here on YouTube at Sportimus, on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook at Sportimus Prime. And you can find me at G1 Hextron on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook page, the G1 Hextron. Also, I, I might start streaming uh, on Twitch, so that's G1 Hextron as well. Uh, so in case you guys are interested in any of that. All right, uh, let's see. We didn't have a Mount Rushmore for today. I couldn't think of anything until like a little bit before the show started. And then I was like, well, you know, the man deserves more justice. Uh, I, I was like, we need to do like our top Mount Rushmore of Jean-Claude Van Damme films justice. and, and uh, <laughs> Trish, Christian Bell films as well. So uh, what games would I stream? Uh, Overwatch, definitely. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, the multiplayer there. Awesome. You, dude, I, I, Rick, I just finished the the campaign where I got a hundred percent on it. It took ninety five hours. Like, that's Jesus. like getting all the stuff. That is a long game. Uh, also, there's there's a a new PlayStation game coming out on the fifth. That's like some type of like it's like Raft, but it's on PlayStation and it, you you're plane crashes in the ocean and stuff and you get an island it's kind of it's better graphics than minecraft but it's basically kind of like a survival minecraft type thing oh nice but the that graphics, sounds cool but the graphics are good yeah just look at raft because me and some friends were talking about buying it on pc and playing but i was like dude this game's gonna be free here in four days so i'm just gonna play that so anyways uh yeah so next next cybercast mount rushmore jean-claude van damme films we good with that yeah yeah, it's fine. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Instead of figure of the week, why don't, why don't, why don't we do hauls? What what did you get in the past three weeks? Uh, Rick, <clears throat> you kick us off, man. Yeah, I got a few things I can share on camera, but uh, there's way – it's a lot. Uh, so <laughs> I got a few things I'm going to share, though. I had a birthday, so I got some extra stuff that normally I wouldn't get. Um, so let's start with uh, – vintage stuff i got the and if you follow me on instagram which you should you'll see some of the stuff so i got the uh gi joe real american hero bivouac playset uh got this thing boxed i've already opened it up it's already on a shelf upstairs and i never had it as a kid and i'm trying to get some of the smaller play sets that i just never messed with as a kid um so i got that one i got the uh outpost Defender. Uh, this was probably nice. my favorite. I actually wanted this one as a kid, and I don't believe I ever saw it in the store. I had the Watchtower and um, Checkpoint Alpha and some of those, but I never saw this one in the store. So got this one boxed. Um, I, I still love the, the old packaging for the Vintage Joe stuff. I'd probably love it as much, if not more, than um, than Transformers. <gasps> All right, Blasphemy. So, I was literally going to say Blasphemous. Yeah. The big stuff, I got a 89 G.I. Joe Raider. How and this is one I've wanted for though? a long time. 
it's it's a big boy um and i got this one boxed as well i was able to put this together i, I love putting together these old vehicles um yeah. it's you know if you ever put one together they're like somewhere between like a model kit and but not quite as difficult this one actually had a, a lot of pieces to it and the, i'll tell you that the most it's a lot of fun but you sometimes you don't know what you're going to get with the older vintage sets if you're lucky the sticker sheet is still perfect and it's mm. been kept out of heat mm. when you open up that box the first thing you're going to do is look if it's a white vehicle check to see if it's still white but you always look at that sticker sheet because if it if it got hot at any time it's just glue and sticker like a big mass of muck oh. um, so i got lucky with both of these vehicles that radar must have been stored climate controlled for the last what 32 years or something i mean it's it's perfect but the other one i got the avalanche oh this one was one that um i was out of joe when this came out in 90. so um i've never i've never even actually seen this one in person i didn't but have that this, one this is one where i was i was stressing because i was like all right when i open up that box <laughs> is it still going to be insanely white and are the stickers uh toy hacks does not make uh stickers for the avalanche so you're really? out of luck oh my yeah. god you're out of luck uh, but anyway i did and i stickered it and look how beautiful this thing is oh man it's, it's bright it was a blood it's so it's so amazing this I didn't is know like it was a big. 30 something year old toy right yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 that looks brand new yeah, it is. I put it to get like these things were boxed, like never open boxes. Both never of saw these the vehicles. sun. Nice. Never yeah. saw the sun. And they're perfect. Um, so, I, you know, out of all the things we talk about and we collect currently, the Joe vehicles are is my favorite thing in the world. Like there's nothing that compares to that. Um, not the hot toys don't compare to that. I enjoy it, but not like these vehicles. The only problem is they take up so much space. Yeah. So, especially the planes every, and the jets. Every time yeah. I put one up, uh, a transformer shelf comes down. Basically, <laughs> that's kind of what's been happening. Mm -hmm. uh, Beast Wars was first to go. Josh, I know you'll appreciate that. Yeah. Josh's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get rid of that Beast Wars junk. Yeah. <laughs> um, Should have been up in the first place. place. <laughs> yeah, and with that, with that vehicle, you get um, cool front. He's a good one. He's got one of those parts. He's got a little white mic. That's one of the harder GI Joe parts to find. It is, and the Dang. visor is too. The yeah. the little mics. I remember the uh, Defiant, the little mic that comes with. Uh, I, I don't know. Forget his name, but his little mic. I've seen that thing on eBay for like a hundred hundred fifty dollars. You know, all yep. by itself for the, like the little bitty piece of plastic. Exactly. Um, let's see. I've got some stuff that I'm going to say for next time. I got some hot toys in, but I haven't opened them and I hate covering stuff that I haven't. I like to have opened it or try to have opened it already. Sport, um, so sport I'll, I'll try to, time, yeah. so. I know I do. Uh, I, I have an excuse. Here's, here's one that I haven't opened that I, I was excited for that. The flocked Panther. Oh, um, we're talking. That, I still can't find that. Yeah. It screams 80s. Anytime something is flocked, I mean, if you just say the word flock, how often do you mm -hmm. say the word flock? Not often. Yeah. Probably when you're talking about Panthor. That so, orange line is awesome. That, that's yeah, a good I'm, line. En I'm enjoying it. Um, some other things I got from or I did get Clamp Champ finally. Lucky. Um, but this is probably in the last few days, this one is the one that's garnering the most attention. Mm -hmm. I finally. And rightfully so. Got my hands on blood and he's i'm gonna I'm, i hate to say it because i don't know how hard he's gonna be to get he's the best one he's easily the best one they've done his tell me that. if you haven't seen his face <laughs> sculpt up close look at my instagram um i took a usually you know i'll take pictures and sometimes i'm the i'm the hardest fan or the hardest like critiquer on when i take pictures of figures but um that major blood like after i took the picture i'm like that's the best face sculpt they've done he's got like a little snarl and the scars are just enough in the eye and the eyebrow they're they're just well done i thought firefly was pretty good um but i think this one this is probably my favorite one i still think the cobra trooper is the best figure overall 
And this is my nitpick with blood. The two missiles in the backpack, I don't trust them not coming out. Like when I'm taking pictures, I take them on one of these shelves over here and there's an air vent below it and I don't have a trap in it. So if anything fell in, it's gone. Um, and his missiles are finicky. Like you can get them in there, you can pose them. If you're, he's just on the shelf, they're fine. But if you're putting your fingers on him and posing him, they will fall out. They do not snap in. And here's my problem with that. They've had 30 some odd years to figure out if they're going to make them removable, <laughs> make them removable, but have them click in. Mm -hmm. And the one from the 2008, that one's finicky too. You can get, slide the three of them in on the old one, um, but that one's not perfect either. Honestly, um, I'd, I wouldn't, and, and they do go in the, the gun. They do go on the end of the gun. So I get that. That's kind of a gimmick that they wanted to put in with it. You know, removable missiles. We, I guess we want that, but I don't have a, I don't have a problem if they had molded it. And then he would be a perfect 10. I would say he's a 9.5 just because I'm finicky. If, if the stuff kind of falls off when you're messing with it for most people, it won't be an issue. If you don't pose them and take pictures, you won't notice it. But that's all I'm covering. Sorry, it took a while, but nice. Yeah. All right, uh, Chris, what about you, man? What you get? I got that, dude. I don't care about anything. My life is complete. <laughs> I've got uh, Uni Pop, but um, I'm a bit of a mad. Uh, how can I put it? Um, weirdo. To keep it PG, I guess. But um, it's hard to tell, and I'm not picking up because holy. It's hard to describe when you look at so many videos and things like that on reviews and whatnot, mm -hmm. nothing. And I know people will say it's like, oh, you know, it, it looks so, so, and it looks bigger in person, whatever. But it generally, it's, it's like a little kid that stood behind me. Um, not going to lie. It's kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> I took a risk and I sharpied the crap out of it, but it took me <laughs> two hours um, I'm not going to pick it up because it's 16 pounds, which I'm sure it's about twice the weight of Fort Max. So if you have a Fort, you'll Max, get muscles out of it, you know. Yeah. Well, I I'm an idiot, <laughs> and that I mean that's self-explanatory. But I tried doing it without the stand. No, uh, I did no. do a little tiny drop test, but it was just on my bed, uh, and it wasn't on purpose. It was accident, and I was like, oh my god, because yeah shell um it's not good but anyway i got a sharpie and it was all on the uh i was gonna take it off the wings. i generally can't be asked i'm sorry uh but from looking at it in person it's basically the whole planet ring i've only done the one side because that made me sweat um <laughs> but i've colored it to a, a point that as you look at it in person as a light hits it the black makes it look like it's see-through i know you can't see it on camera because my camera sucks is a logic deck c920 used to be cool back in the day um and i don't know like his midsection to where uh, i, I w you can't see it damn it but i generally can't i i'm not picking up though no. um <laughs> but yeah it looks good it's awesome i'm doing if you look up lek customs he done a custom job on it and i'm basically slowly but surely doing that i'm just waiting for like the other paints to come but um yeah by far the most awesome transform I've ever had. And I almost broke him four times as well. But <laughs> that's just because it's me. Jeez. It was it's this weird <laughs> part like on his shell, like on the back. And it's like, right, okay, the instruction says to do this. So I'm trying to lift this panel. It's like, why isn't it lifting? And I'm forcing, I'm like, it's gonna break, it's gonna break. And I thought, hang on. Rather than just be a typical bloke and not read the instruction sets, try and refer to instructions and I'm not supposed to lift it that way. It's another way. So I thought, oh, okay, so it was going to break. Um, yeah. So, yeah, read instructions when you have an expensive robot. So, yeah, that's my whole. <laughs> I feel like Chris has tackled Transformers <laughs> as an adult the same way he did when he was a child and got his first one. He was like, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, it won't move, so of course I'm going to force it, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, hang on, just give it... It's like if you're tightening, like, a screw, it's like, ah, oh, okay, it's nice and tight. Wait, I just need to do that extra half turn. Oh, wait, why is it still turn? Oh, okay. Maybe yeah, a little I, more. Yeah, guy. maybe a little more. <laughs> but I'm, like, the ultimate tester. Yeah. If I own something, if I own a robot and it still functions, you know it's built well. 
give me a third party toy um, and mm-hmm. it won't last long uh, because I do break them a lot. So. <laughs> I still function. Nice. Oh, not with me. No, they they, they die. <laughs> All right, what cool. you got? Sport? I got some loot. Uh, I got Echo on clearance, the Velociraptor from Jurassic Park on clearance from Target for 10 oh, bucks. Okay. 15 bucks, sorry. I uh, forgot to bring them. I got the Vintage Sorceress, the original Master Universe uh, Vintage Sorceress. Minty, Minty, Minty. That cost a pretty penny, but I had to have her. I forgot to bring her, though. Uh, I got... How, uh, no, who is this guy? Huffer. Huffer, thank you. Oh, I got the first letter right. I got Huffer. He's hard to find, apparently, but looks great. Mm. Gotta get Huffer. Ow, oh, my arm! Um... I got uh, Scarlet from the G.I. Joe Classified line. Now, I already had Scarlet, but I like this paint deco better, where they got rid of the gold and stuff like that. Being a G.I. Joe collector on these things is like a, being in an abusive relationship, you know? <laughs> um, uh, I got the new Roadblock, because I like, again, the deco better. I got... <clears throat> The one that I really been wanting for, well, almost. I wanted the Viper, which I can't find anywhere, unfortunately. But I did get one Trooper, and I got two more on the way from Big Bad Toy Store, thanks to Rick's FYI. So I got three total of the Cobra Troopers. Mm, I love this guy. You got to open up. You got to open up at least one of them, man. I will. I will. That one I have to open because I've been waiting a long time for that one. I got <laughs> Mr. Zartan. It's another good one. So Zartan, I always liked this character. I, I thought he was creepy and and just someone who you just don't want to mess with ever yep. since the original. So I always loved that character. He's my favorite other than yeah. this guy. This guy right here. He's probably my favorite. But him and Zartan, man. Yeah, Zartan was just, woo. I got the target version of the Batman Beyond, McFarlane. You can't go wrong with Batman Beyond. The first day they had them out, and they had about four of them, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pass, and then I haven't seen them since then. Yeah, so. same here. We had like seven or eight of them, and I bought one, and the next day I came back, they are all gone. Yeah. He's pretty so, nice. He's a nice figure. He is, and I, I, I kind of wish they would stop playing games with two different versions. You know, cause yeah, you got they, the like, other one. they like to do that. And that one has like the really cool accessories other than the batarangs, but they got the other stuff. Oh, well, I'm happy. I'm happy with this yeah. one. So, uh, I got some vintage stuff. This is the reissue Optimus Prime with the short stacks, but I got them 100% complete with the trailer and all of his accessories. Uh, I got them for 40 bucks, and he's essentially like a brand new toy. It's not bad. Right, right down to the trailer, yeah. I got uh, Weird Wolf. G1 Weird Weird Wolf. I mean, this guy is... Whoever had this probably never played with it because even the stickers are just perfect. So he costs more, but he was worth it. I got more here. Rick might like this one. Oh, yeah. Classic. The had basic to have a foundation. Van. Yeah. And I it was complete. I lost the steering wheel. But I, I bought another one off eBay. So but it's got <laughs> the gas cans. I didn't know it came off. I never had this toy. So somewhere between buying him and bringing him home, I don't know what happened to the steering wheel. But he's got clutch, he's got his helmet, he's got the gas cans, the guns work, you know, that little lever that you can Yeah. Make the guns, you know, look like they're shooting. Uh, really nice condition. Uh, whoever had it really took care of it. That's a rabbit hole toy. You get that toy, and then there's 200 that come after it. Yeah. Well, I, I, I did find <laughs> a uh, a while back, uh, uh, God, the, the tank, Cobra His Tank. Yeah. And with, I, found, I had one before, but I found one with the gun turrets are, are able to stand up, you know, how they yeah. droop. I found yeah. one that doesn't droop. So I was really happy about that. So that's yeah. my, my replacement one, and that one will, will complement it. Uh, these things are going up insane in prices, so it's hard to get these, but I did manage to snag a uh, Classics Buzz-Off. So, yeah, I hope Mattel 
gives us some of these classic ones back again with this new line. I'm worried about that, but I hope so too. I got also, just the other day, I got Hurricane and Hordak. Nice. Because why not? Uh, chrome, man. I love the gold chrome. So. Mm. <laughs> and I think, did I get everything? Uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, one more. One more. One more. Uh, some good I, hauls the, the last few weeks. Some good toys in this haul yeah, tonight. Yeah, I got. I haven't gotten a masterpiece scale toy in a long time, but I finally got fans toy Smokey. And look how big he is. Yeah, I still need him. I mean, <clears throat> that's impressive. And he transforms into the the Formula One car that's the same size as Takara Sideswipe, basically. So he compacts down really. Impressively, in terms so of the proper masterpiece scale, then I don't know. I mean, to me, I think the X Trans, I like the X Trans bots better because they seem to just fit in. These are giants compared to the cars, mm. but I do love them anyway because of the detail and they just have such a presence. I mean, this thing is just I, st I still say fans toys plastic quality is a step above X Trans bots that and their paint and and just the this thing feels like it. A solid, yeah, good quality collector's piece. This feels like I got my money's worth for sure, without a doubt. I mean, this thing is just, I mean, look how well it cleans up in the back. There's nothing there. Yeah, they're usually nice and simple. Right. You know? Yeah, fair play. I mean, it's got really good articulation. I mean, the, the elbow joints are 90 degrees, unfortunately, but it's got everything else that has a really good range of, of movement. So I'm happy with this purchase. Mm -hmm. This is this just made my day. I mean, they, they all did, but this. As far as masterpiece goes, that was a nice, uh, a nice happy surprise for me. So. And fast, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> exactly. And fast, uh, fans toy, yeah, I know. It's good <laughs> English, yeah. Um, yeah. Don't fan stories? They still have like that plan to do the insane scale for Max is like four foot tall or whatever, but supposedly happening. Uh, no, if they have like a dozen things in the pipeline. Yeah, they have a lot of their showing. Showing pictures yeah. of like three yeah. years. Yeah. Blitz wing, yeah, being one of them. Yeah, I mean, I'll be I'll be sixty before they finish. Uh, Minnesota. I, mean, I finally got my Minnesota, yeah. and that's no joke. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, let's see, Legionardo and Cameron. They've joined us. Uh, Legionardo says I got a G one ice pick and bristleback, uh, beast machine, night viper. And Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon and Kickstarter Spawn. Ooh, that Kickstarter Spawn. I missed out on it, man. And uh, Rick won't hook, hook me up with one of his, like, three or four or whatever. <laughs> I, have both, I have two of them, and they're both I, I sitting, want, uh, man. sitting pretty. All right. Well, the probably the highlight of the purchase is these bad boys were on clearance. So I already had one, and I picked up another three. Nice. So I got four Jar Jars. Uh, but these are just going to be my gun gettings, you know. Me so they, love they, you, Josh. They all look the same, you know. <laughs> so they'll all have their shield and stuff like that. And uh, they'll they'll probably come out with their own gun gettings or whatever. But I'll just be like, yo, I got, like, the deluxe ones that was $30. I got them for 9 bucks, you know. So mm. And it's got I'll the shield. Up. I'll yeah. pick them all up, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this thing was in store for like one. It, they put it out on a Saturday, uh, last Saturday, and then when I went to go check it out, they're like, "Yeah, it's street dated for uh, Sunday." And so I was like, "Yo, will you hold it in the back then, and I'll be here in the morning at eight a.m." So uh, I guess the the NECA or not the NECA, uh, the toy associate that works at my Target already went through and swiped up all the ones that were on the shelf that no one could buy so that on Sunday when it was able to be able to, you know, to be bought, there were none on the shelf. Luckily I had grabbed one and told them to put it behind the service desk. I was able to get one that, nice. yeah, that's Lucky. just another jab at my target guy, man. Jesus, <laughs> man. Jeez. Uh, also got lucky with, um, this, these just got put out this morning, the frogs, oh. uh, so there, there, were, there were four packs of them. And, uh, you know, again, my target guy, I, I, I guess he comes in late on Saturday or early on Sunday or something. 
because that's the only way I'm able to get the stuff. I got a uh, Walmart actually had the two pack of foot soldiers from the movie. And then oh, I got Huffer as well, but I, I left them in the other room. So I forgot to figure about my picture. And I'll screen share this because uh, this is this is my my main purchase. I thought I was screen sharing. Okay, there there it is. This is uh, yeah, these bad boys. Oh my Whoa. god, that looks so nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I I went with the upgrade and got the Italian leather, and they're also power. They have USB ports in here too, so it can charge your phone, and it can go all the way back and extend all the way out, and has like LED light, LED lights and stuff. So. Uh, oh, Bruce Wayne is prone to shame. Jesus yeah. Christ. So I, like, gosh, here, here, you know, he's got a... some money. Uh, we, we can get... Well, I'm sat on a little barber's chair. Jesus. <laughs> but the way I have... I'll have to do another setup. Uh, I, I still need risers for this. They gradually... Like, the guy gets, like, one case in a month. So and that only fills up one detail. <laughs> so it's taken a while. And I got to get lights for them. But you just walk around here. And then I've got my TV. And it's got the blue lights and stuff behind it as well. So did it, you put it the ties in yourself, really nice. or did they already come in with them? For the chair? No. Oh. It already came with it. Nice. That's yeah. cool. So I just plug them into the strip where I got the or it was groovy or something like that. The LED lights that go behind the TV that have different colors. They even have a thing on top of the TV to where it's a camera that will read what colors are on the screen and it can distribute all like that. And I'm like Dude, that's that's going to destroy my eyes. Plus, I don't like the idea of having a camera on yeah. me that's yeah. you know like watching all the time. I see so, you. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. I, I find that I find that creepy. So uh, just walking butt until, naked one morning, like I was just sorry, thinking that. streaming. It's, it's, it's the same thing with that you know like Alexis thing. Like I don't ever use it because yeah. like. If they're not always listening, then how did she know? Yeah. How did she yeah. know to answer? You know, they're like, yeah. they, I heard they were like, oh, she only like hears like five seconds before you say it. Like, I'm like, how do you know when I'm going to say it? Exactly. Yeah. You'll, mm -hmm. when it gets to the point where they're like, there are now three Vipers in stock at Target. Would you like for me to purchase? Hell You'd yeah. You'd be like, yes. You'd be like, yes, right now. Yeah. Do, some, do something I want you to do. Yeah. <laughs> so. And in fact, don't even inform me. Just be, just tell just me like yeah. we've already bought yeah. these for you. <laughs> They're waiting, <Yeah>. right? <laughs> like, like Mas if I can, if, if, they are waiting if, for you. That's can you imagine an app to where if you just went on there and like, hey, if it's out there in this price, I want all these things, <laughs> and this is the most I'll pay for it. And then as soon as like it pops up somewhere, it just automatically buys it at that, you know that price and ships it out to you. And so I'd like that <laughs> stasis log joins. Let's see some beast wars. There actually is some beast wars. So mm. all right, so we'll get into what do, what do we have first? <sighs> Black screen. Nice. Yay. There you go. There, there's some beast wars for you. It's a beast. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> uh, the best uh, kind of beast wars. Yeah. I like the fact that this is going to be uh, the bigger. What is it? Leader. Leader. Yeah. Leader. I, I love that. The Dinobots, be leaders. Yeah. Oh, Dude, he's a big I, boy. Mm -hmm. The the only one that maybe not be a leader that you would make Voyager would be Swoop. I wouldn't mind that. It's fine. Yeah. He, I would love Sludge. Can you imagine how big Sludge would be as leader? Wow. Yeah. So are they actually calling him Slag, or are they still like, uh, the name, the guy who can uh, upset the British, or is it? We we don't, still slow. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. We like they don't. They don't. They don't care. It will always be Slag to me. Yeah. It, it's just yeah. it's, it rolls off the tongue. It's like you Slag, but uh, yeah, British people. Yay. And, and and to get the redhead. Yeah. They did this one right, finally. I'm glad I sold my Combiner Wars Dinobots. 
I never um, bought them. See, I knew. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't would get anything for them, so I'm I'm just giving them to my nephews. <laughs> I saw them for good price, actually. Yeah. My my nephew, the youngest one, he he likes dinosaurs. He can name all the dinosaurs. So I'm gonna be like, here's a robot and dinosaur. Here you go. <laughs> Perfect combination. Ah, Scooby uh, said Voyager. I'm sorry. Uh, Stasis Lock just said Scoop is Voyager. Scoop is Voyager? Has he been confirmed? Well, Good enough for me. Yeah. As long as we I get can, them all. Camera says, uh, was there ever a Beast Wars uh, Triceratops? If not, it seems like they should have done one. They should have. I'm one. surprised they never did. We got a Rhino. <laughs> and here's your Generation Select uh, Shattered Glass Megs. This really upset me. This... Why would they use the Megatron mold when they have the Galvatron or or the the Super Megatron mold that they could have modified? I mean, they just blew this one out of the water. Who's getting this? Not me. Me. I'm pre-ordered already. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Dalton and Dakota would get it. Oh, yeah, definitely. They would be getting it. If I no, had to spare feels- shelf to where I could just get all Shatter Glass stuff. Yeah. Uh, this feels maybe, like popcorn but... to me. Really? Yeah, so, so Michael yeah, probably get point. it as yeah. well. Yeah, this is the closest to botcon we've got, right? I think this and the and the blur and that stuff. I mean, it started at botcon. It feels like botcon. But to look me. at the legs. You can see the legs right there. You you obviously <laughs> don't own all the botcon toys. There are there are some hits and misses with. Bot-con. I don't have any botcon toys, but that botcon shattered glass <clears throat> Megatron was fantastic. Oh yeah, that was a beautiful reuse of that mold, and this yeah. does not do it justice to me. I can tell you right now that vibe when I got those in hand in uh, was it Cincinnati, in what like two thousand eight I think it was, mm-hmm. dude. I didn't want to leave my room for. I played with those for like two hours. I, I was like, I got to go downstairs and hang out. But yeah. man, I love that set, the, that set of toys. I wish and I had the money. At this point, I feel like Hasbro's just trying to see if they can hit a new record with how many repaints of this yeah. mold they can <laughs> Yeah, that's true. They're, they're close to it. They're beating the Seekers on this one. Yeah. Well, uh, was it the, the, there's the Seeker, and then who's second? Was it the Optimus Prime, R.I.D. Optimus Prime? That's probably second remember. as far as yeah. repaints? Yeah. You, you know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah. But this this was passed for me, so yeah, I'm not into that shattered glass stuff. But I know a lot of people are. I, mean, I love the colors on it. If they done like shattered glass and like the Titans, like um, Necro Titan for like Metroplex, like that stuff, I'd be into. <laughs> like that's really tweaky, uh-huh. but or uh, okay, so it's not R.I.D. Optimus; it's Classics Optimus. Is yeah, what I'm thinking classics, of. Classics, yeah. Yeah, I think we all know what, which one I was talking about. Yeah, Voyager Classic. Yeah, the one that you could put the little fans project uh, armor for Ultra Magnus on it. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, yeah that You one, know which yeah. one I'm talking about, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, they made the Fire Guts one at BotCon at some point. Yeah. Too, the, yeah. The, in the Knights, what you line. Yeah. Dude, the, and they kept I on I still, like, I still love that figure. Me too. I still love that figure. He's great. That's got to be second. Seeker, uh, Deluxe Seeker's got to be number one, though. Jesus. They, oh, oh, yeah. Lord. Oh, they, they milked that to its death. <laughs> and this did they cool always, stuff. I mean, they always sold out. I mean, they did. Yeah, they were cool. Yeah, so. And this set, I hope they modify Mirage. I hope they make it more Earth. Right, yeah, so, so, so this, uh, if it's G1 looking, I want the Mirage. I don't want this other guy. So somebody uh, is Grimlock or fake Grimlock yeah. or whatever. Whoever wants it, hit me up. It I'll looks go. more like a Power Ranger than anything else. It's just... Mm, it don't fit. It just don't look like a Transformer. I don't understand why they're putting these two together, though. Because, like... <sighs> That I get that there's some of you out there. They collect the both of them. But there's some people like me that's like, I just want the G1 stuff. And then there's like Dakota where he just wants his Beast Wars stuff, you know? What's this under? Is it under Kingdom? What's it under? Yes, Kingdom. Yeah, Kingdom. Amazon. Maybe right? it 
maybe they're both i can't imagine them but well that's not true they like to use the the models a million times in the background so there could easily be you know a dinobot that they don't even call grimlock but there's that color one in the background a hundred times you know those shows they don't care <laughs> so is this out on pre-order uh, yet or is it not yet Uh, correctly, if you count the Hasbro and Jakar versions of some characters, it got up to around 30 releases of the classic Seeker. Wow. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you have the Ken, Ken K ones too, yeah. I think I have all of them. I think I have every single one, so I'm part of the problem is what I'm saying. I know I have 12. Uh, this thing... <laughs> Yay. Who's, who's, who's getting this? Uh, Rick, don't even start with that. Well, you know, it's, it's fun to play with with my kid. I don't think your kid's going to be interested in this. And this one? No, no that's not true because this thing comes with a ton of blast effects. And um, I can't. So now my kid is always wanting my blast effects. He's nice enough to ask. He's still at an age where he's nice enough to. He's like, hey, can I borrow your blast effect? He likes to set up, you know, scenes. So, yeah, he would like it just because of all the blast effects that come with it. Nice. See, it would be pretty decent if there was some sort of just pack you can buy, unless I'm late to the party. Everyone just discovered this. But if it was just a pack of blast effects, because I'm late to that, and I'm seeing, like, all, like, the stuff you can get on, like, the Hasblab yeah. uh, Unicron, it's like, yeah, I don't want too much, just, like, bits and bobs, but there's just nothing there. I, yeah. I've seen some uh places that just sell blast effects mm -hmm. it's just a uk but we suck them <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what is he doing there popping a squat something came out it looks yeah. like he's laying a brick back <laughs> there yeah something coming out it looks <laughs> sharp it doesn't look easy. <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's having a hard time there oh you see the picture i put in the uh dms right where someone made like a little uh custom little gun that fits up under Cheetor. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> is that what that was? Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, I, I didn't put it on here because it wasn't a, a third party, or at least that I know of. And then this transmutate guy. I know some of the Beast War people are happy about this. but They're Happy and unhappy. That that's, sounds like Transformers. He's a controversial one, I think. The original one never transformed. He never had an alt mode. Yeah, I mean, but you're not you're not going to complain about right. ha having that, though. No, I, I, there was I think it's the face or something like that they were happy about. But um. I keep saying it just looks like that alien off. Ironically, uh, Alien Two or Alien Three was it? No, uh, no, yeah. that, that was uh, the f was it the fourth or fourth, fifth, fourth it's one? The fourth one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they're they're yeah. all trash after two, so yeah, or yep, aliens, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see, this pulls up. Stasis Luck says, Donkey Kong, trash, that's trash. So, Donkey Kong uh, some, is cool, some vintage, uh, Beast Wars stuff. I, I hope the plastic quality is just as good as the original. I hope they didn't thin it out or It's like probably that. not as good as be as good just because of yeah. the uh, costs and things like that and cutbacks. Yeah. Not my, my if I was a Beast Wars like a hardcore Beast Wars fan, I'm a Beast Wars fan, but not super hardcore like our stasis like guys. But this is a spot where you could have new Beast Wars toys. Maybe even animals or beasts or insects that you've never had before like new mm. characters right. or remake the ones you know like torca that have the gps do new versions of those um you don't always it, it, every five ten years you don't need to come out with just the five that they always do i mean yeah. i'm glad that they're doing some other things this stuff like they're doing a new scorpionock and they're doing right. You know, that the Dinobot's really nice. That I really like that one. Air Razor was really good. But like this stuff, like the vintage stuff, this is spots, toy spots, spaces where you could be getting more like 
kingdom stuff or new beast wars that you've never seen before brand new i know it's a foreign concept but but if but if you're a beast wars fans then you already have these guys exactly that's megatron exactly right. three uh, times over. Prime, three four, four, yeah. and rat trap yeah, i like, see what you mean you, you have those already if you're yeah. a, a beast multiple wars times fan. multiple that, times that said they are good these are good moves. I, Unless I guess, they're just but... releasing these, because obviously they're doing that new uh, live-action Beast Wars kind of-ish film. Maybe it's trying to just make some mid-gap for that, maybe? it's. Um, I just think this is a cash grab and lazy. I, the more I think about it, oh. the more I, I don't agree well, it is. It. it is a cash grab, because it's there prime, you, you know? I mean, there's a good there's a good Optimus promo out right, right now. There's a new Megatron. There's an Air Razor. There's a Dinobot. There's good Beast Wars toys in the Kingdom line, yeah. and this could have been like really cool new ones or either characters that just haven't had a second go at it before. So, and I mean, I, this this also goes into the Hasbro. I don't want to hear about this. We're raising the prices again for the stuff <laughs> because yeah. of like like because of plastic you know and the cost and stuff like that when you're making things that anyone that this caters to has already got it you know like the these are probably unless someone's buying them just i guess to keep them in box but i mean then again like it's not like they're originals they're just the issues you know so keeping them in boxes isn't gonna carry the same value as if it was a minty fresh original yeah. you know yeah well didn't they say the whole reason why they were changing the packaging is because one is more eco-friendly but two because it's a lot bloody cheaper so why are they jacking it well i say jacking it in price why are they increasing the price again doesn't really make sense to me but especially because crude oil which yeah. obviously is made into plastic is that has gone down by a couple of uh, percent. So I just think that they just want more money. As simple as that. Will they ever admit it? No. There, there, Nothing there wrong you go. with it. But... That's the answer. More well, money. You had it right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're like, hey, uh, let's see. We can blame it on, uh, you know, what happened in 2020. Uh, we can blame it on that. And we will we'll can raise the price, even though, like, that's not going to have anything to do with it, you know? So, uh, Cameron says, I actually had three of the four of those Beast War figures in the mid nineties. I wasn't picky at the time, but I was glad to have transformers. Took me a few years to figure out. I didn't care for beast alt modes. So my man, <laughs> uh, skids, the masterpiece character that really, them. I don't know anyone that asked Oof. for this. Thank goodness we're getting skids. Oof. Yeah, because I can skip. I love skipping Masterpiece. I mean, that's a good one I can skip. I feel sorry for the OCD people for like Pokemon Masters. They need to get them all. It's like, oh, yep. yeah, I forgot about it. Yeah, I, I used to be like that. The best decision I ever made is quit quit doing that. Jesus. And you can even see the mushroom pegs here in the back. This is a Masterpiece. Yeah. Well, that's why it's eighty nine dollars. They did cut corners. Honda asked for it. Yeah. They did, yeah. Honda can have it back. <sighs> Apparently, this car was a big deal in Japan. So maybe they'll sell a ton it. of units, and and it'll be fine. It doesn't even look like a masterpiece, though. It's like literally the current stuff yeah. we're getting. That's something that would fit in like Kingdom. It's just no. I'm being picky. Yeah. I, I'm about to turn thirty, basically, right? Yeah. So I'm starting to get more grumpy and more picky about my toys. So leave me to it. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're joining us. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just I, I'm like morphing to the age. Wow. Well, why do you think Mike's the way he is? Trash, trash, trash. It's like Oscar getting, the Grouch. Yeah. It, it gets yeah. worse and worse, man. Back in my day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it, exactly like you look at this with the Blue Streak and the tracks, uh, which came out years prior. It doesn't even look up to par to them, yeah. in my opinion. Oh, well. 
I mean, Rick, you get painted rims, even though I don't consider those rims. I, I think my spare tire no. has a better looking it, rim than that rim. So it's I've never been a fan of skids. It looks like the foot off of a Voltron toy, like the you know the vehicle Voltron. Yeah. Oh, I do. Point. Yeah. I do not. I don't need that roller skate <laughs> foot. I don't need it. Voltron's foot. <laughs> It's just the cable under it, though. It's like there is not one single masterpiece figure that I've ever seen that has that amount of junk just hanging off it. It's like, no, like this is premium line. Get your shit together. Why is it so difficult? Cameron, Cameron, Cameron brings up, he says, using tracks in the promo image, this is an interesting choice. It's like, yeah, let's, yeah. let's, let's grab Sunstreaker and tracks, you know, and like sideswipe all these sexy vehicles and robots <laughs> and like let's throw skids in there and take like a picture to just kind of show how it fit like no 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 you need to like like grab like iron hide and like some other kind of yeah. ugly vehicles you know <laughs> hound yeah i mean the engine part's cool i th that's a positive i will say about it okay. yeah i'll give him that Oh, yeah, yeah the G1 to, had, had to it. do some stuff, you know. The G1's big deal was you could open, you know, trunk, yeah. and hood, and doors yeah. and stuff like that. So, next chance to bust it a bit. Yeah. Mm. Old dude squeezing there. Squish oh, in he there, can yeah. squeeze in there, and then he can. Is, doesn't it come with the little scooter? He can get on the yeah. little scooter. And no, the eat. blue one doesn't. The red one does. Oh, isn't that so weird? So there is there is a scooter though, right? There yeah, is one. but for All the right. red one, not for this. It, I don't know. Yeah, why it could it. almost be cool if that scooter was a motorcycle, and the little guy could eject out of the back in his motorcycle. That'd be that'd be worth Yeah, that, that'd just be a scooter. Cool. <laughs> he, he's trying to get the hell away from this figure. <laughs> 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 He's like the coolest thing about my car is there's a motorcycle in the back. <laughs> Just eject out of it like Mr. Gadget and shoot out the back. <laughs> Jeez, there's the one. Yeah, kind of looks better in red. But oh well. I mean the little arms. Are... Yeah, he didn't. He missed arm day. Yeah. So why is this red? It's because, like an Optimus version. Uh, they they had several colors. colors yeah. Silver. See, silver, this is red, what I mean. It red. makes more sense. It's like, hey, look, uh, an alternate Optimus. Like this is something I'd find, like at I don't know, like a corner shop around from my street. And like, oh yeah, we we're calling him um something something or whatever. It's just a proper KO toy, but yeah. Mini me, yeah. But here's a question even if they made this KO and said right okay you can buy it like 15 20 bucks would you buy it no exactly no i wouldn't because i don't need it and i don't like it i don't have any fond feelings of skids not even a little bit and yeah my days of completionist on that <laughs> stuff is way over there's your, there's your i like this oh. i like the scooter but i'm just yeah. a fan of like you know, those types of things. I don't, yeah. The little scooter that comes with the whale, the GI Joe whale. I, I like that. And that thing is tiny. You put your little guy on it and it looks giant. Yeah. And cram all his stuff in there. <laughs> He's got some junk in the trunk. <clears throat> ah, well. Anyways, da, da, da. move along. A race from memory. Yeah. Uh, this is the three zero deluxe. No. Nope. If transform, yes. But then, can you imagine trying to transform something that looks that good? Basically, yeah. you're asking for something as a nightmarish um, transformation, like the Devil Savior stuff. I I look at this and I just feel like. Like my hands are just gonna be all cut up. Yeah, me like, too. Like, like I, I better not go like cut some lemons and get that on my hands because like they're gonna be burning. Yeah, it's like you're putting. It's like a, a real haunted house where there's a 
a bunch of knives and a cookie jar and it's dark and they tell you to put your hand in it. That's what I feel too. That's that's but, this is this is actually one of the traps <laughs> in the next Saul movie where he's like trans, he's like pose this, this thing. Yeah. It's like yeah. no, just cut my hands off, please. It's like no, get it no, over with. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta pose this thing and mess with it for five minutes. You know, if you want to lose. It's, that's like the uh, this. That's how they punish the scalper. They put this toy in that room and kill him with it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> Make a note of that. Randy Book says, "Not my Optimus Prime." See, out of like all the Bayformer stuff, like this was my, if I was to say favorite, this was my favorite sort of look for Prime. But then we never seen anything like that again because it's like. I mean, I grew up with uh, Ahmad, uh, Energon, and whatever, so it's kind of like a power link sort of thing. It's like, oh, okay, it's cool. They're going down that route. No, no, just just that one little bit. He's got lines. Yeah, but he only had. Yeah, you're right. He only had this for one movie. That's because they have to give you a different prime every single movie. Yeah. That they keep you going out there and buying them again. Mm -hmm. They learned that back in G1. They're like, these kids, they don't, they don't keep buying. The same Optimus Prime again. Mm. They're they're like we already have it. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Like, let's just kill them. And, what uh, was it? <laughs> it was like Revenge of the Fallen leader, and then we had Dark of the Moon. And the only difference in uh, the leader Prime was like, oh, let's give him abs in the next one. And that was literally it. Oh, and the flip eight blades. All right, how yeah. about some uh, third party? Here's a your TFC. It's TFC and somebody else. Yeah, uh, uh, TFC and Sci Figure Industry, something another. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> it's nice to see TFC are back into doing stuff again because, well, it's been years since I've seen them do anything. It looks like they're more modern now, so yay! It's a pretty cool looking little helicopter. Comes with a stand. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I don't think I like the robot mode very much. And I'm not sure what the robot's supposed to be, but like I look at this helicopter, I'm like, that could have been a rotor storm. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Kimmer says TFC has released two Terracons in the last few months. Wow. Really? Okay. Oh, I thought this was fun. Uh, so this is actually Takara. This is, this is a water gun. Yay. So check this out. So you, so you got to take the cap off to fit the silencer and stuff. But here's your water gun. There's the G1 and then... I don't know which one that is. What is that one? Is that the... That's the original masterpiece, is it? Maybe. Probably. Is it... I can't even remember what it looks like. Or is that that Hegemon or whatever? Ah, uh, yeah, it could be. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's yeah. been yep. so long that... I don't even remember what the thing's called. <laughs> I thought it was like something like Hegemon or something, but... Yeah, yeah. one's called Hegemon. All right, but uh, yeah, there's a G1, so you can see it's just slightly bigger than that. It's pretty cool. Hedge okay, Cameron said Hegemon. Jeez, I can't believe I remember that, man. That like, dude, I I feel like so good about myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to remember like one of these names of one of these third party figures, and one that was like I don't know, like like eight eight or nine years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, get get this sucker from Japan. No orange plug, cause hey, mm -hmm. we've got water gun stated on it. <laughs> They'll put a plug on here. Uh, uh, the only the only thing is uh about seventy dollars. So uh, I'm probably just gonna go buy a super soaker if I want to play water guns with yeah. you guys. Yeah. So I'm not gonna go buy no seventy dollar little. PPP water gun. Anyways, fans hobby. Uh, still, you know, this is like early sample or whatever, but uh, Rick, 
Rick, you're you're getting involved in this, right? Mm, I got you, Minerva. Okay, Minerva. You got Cab? No. Then uh, I probably won't get this one. I'm just really? kind of out of I'm kind of out of third party. Like I said, I'm getting some of the Stunicons and mm -hmm. here like here and there. It has to be really cool for me to get it. I haven't been. I, I'm just not a fan of the way the fans' hobby stuff looks. And that, I've handled some in my hands, and they feel bulky. Like they feel pretty strong. The ones I even samples that I held in my hands, but still, they they look bulky too. To where like I like my stuff to kind of look streamlined and you know nice. Sneaky, you know, to where, yeah. yeah, to where but, theirs always feels like I don't right. know what. The double evil, the double evil set, like their Overlord, is re is ridiculous good, and it's built really well, and it is like a big boy, but and it, it handled really well. Transformation went smoothly. These, like the Minerva that I have, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I have it because I like Minerva and wanted the car and the robot. I got two of them, but I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I wasn't crazy about it. Transformation's okay. There's a few times where I felt like I was going to break it, and it still may break. I don't know. I, I just couldn't recommend it. Where Double Evil, I would say yes. If you like, you know, big, yeah. well-built third-party figures. That's their thing know. of the bigger ones, yeah. I mean, are, are, aren't they, like, kind of considering these, like, masterpiece yeah, type? Sure. Because to me, I see this big screen here and this, and then these fold-up doors just hanging off the back, like, Dude, that don't like look. You look through here. You see all this past his waist. You know, like uh, here's where it's supposed to be. You know, and then that's just kind of hanging off the side. To me, that doesn't scream masterpiece. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the junior headmasters are not my thing. Oh, I wish, man, I wish we could them. get official ones. I, I yeah. want like really good official ones so bad. You're talking about for the the main line, right? Not masterpiece. The main line's fine. Either one. Yeah, I main want main line. Great. That'd be but great. Also, why haven't we got uh, Autobot uh, Target Masters yet? I mean, sh Jesus, there's what? There's only four of them. Oh, well, you already gave us one, and we just so we just need the three main ones, the Japanese ones. Was it uh, Sure Shot? God, I can't remember their freaking names. But Target I'd Masters. Look, I'd have to be looking at my shelf nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> once, once sure shot. Cameron, what are the three Autobot Target Masters? My brain's gone blank. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember them. I can't remember which ones are which. Point blank. Is that one? Point blank. Point blank. Yeah. Uh, okay, here he says, um, Blank already has a mold ready in the punch counter punch. What? Uh, and that truck thing. Uh, sure shot. I'm not sure what mold it could share. And then crosshairs. Mm. Crosshair. I love crosshairs. That's yeah. a cool one. Isn't there another one, though? I thought there was another one. Probably. There's a yellow one. The red. I know that blue and red one we got all back. Which uh, that was crosshairs. Yeah. I thought there was another one. Anyways, this is uh Mech Fans Toys. So little legend skull. Let's see. No, I'm not talking about Cup wearing Hot Run. <clears throat> they were modified into Target Masters, yeah. Yeah, those I don't care about getting Target Masters for. So the... Okay, so it's just those three? All right. I still want um, like a good version of Joyride and Slapdash. Those are probably on my top five things I want from the main line. And get some Godmasters.
Yeah, I remember the double because we got scoop already. We'd need a landfill and quick mm-hmm. mix. Uh, and then we want the uh, uh, double target masters for the Decepticons as well. I need to get, I want a needle nose, man. Yeah, I like needle nose. We we got a spinister, right? He was just a recolor of. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th- then I've got it. That's pretty good looking. Uh, and then you're also newage toys doing some little wooden scales. G1 colors. Oh, yeah. It's very G1. G1 mm-hmm. toy colors, yeah. Yeah, with the, the head being black and everything. Mm-hmm. It's just the face is like... I don't know. Look, I don't know what black they've used. Maybe if they just use a different sort of black, but it just seems too off. And what, how I say off is like it's hard to kind of pick out the detail, like what's going on in there. I mean, if they're going for G one toy accuracy, toy. that's yeah. Then yeah, that was just, doing. Uh, yeah. basically all black with like some gold little eye stickers. With the, yeah, with the stickers right. you stick on. Oh, that's fair enough then. But these are all tampoed on, yeah. Oh, flight stand, there you go. That's a ton of accessories, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're probably going to pay for them, too. These oh, are well. really good, though. It's going to be about 60 bucks. That Man. just makes my brain bleed. <laughs> I never understood this one. Can someone tell me the backstory of this colored one? I don't. I don't remember. G G two Thundercracker. Mm-hmm. That was never produced. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Who's that guy? Who used to be obsessed with G two stuff. He used to watch him back in the day. Plastic Con, wherever he's still going. No idea what happened to him. But he was into <laughs> like all his G two stuff. <laughs> Oh god, there's more. There's tons. I mean, this is like Skittles for them. <laughs> they taste the rainbow of colors. Oh, and he comes with coordination spread. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Action Master Thundercracker. Uh, then the colors were used for shattered glass. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh, and they, they, these guys come with parts of a space bridge, so you have to buy them all. If you want to complete your little space bridge, it's yeah. not well, technically cash grab. They they do a double. I mean, it serves as a base for the stand, but it also can be a part of the space bridge. And the space bridge itself can be a stand where you can attach the arms to it, make it look like they're hovering around it. So rather than build a fig, it's build a diorama now. Okay, kind of yeah. Oh, oh that that's cool. I like. Th- that that they had the stand like that. This one I have it's on pre-order. It's nice that someone actually decided to go. Hmm, this actually makes sound um sound wave. Yeah, um, shockwave like a stand. Yeah, and he lights up. Yeah. His arm cannon glows. Uh, yeah, oh, and up. they gave him the little gun to do the animation error. Yeah, yeah. he hold himself. Yeah, like sounded bad. <laughs> well, I was going to say something <laughs> different, but um, I'm a gentleman. I, I don't say uh, bad stuff like that. Jesus, how small is that bumblebee, man? It's tiny. Oh, is this, a different, this looks like it's more metallic looking. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting this one too. Oh, uh, okay. I was like, I like the other one better. <laughs> I don't, I'm I don't getting like both. That. There's a black one too that's going to be based on the the toy it? box version, yeah, Galactic Man or whatever it is. Yeah, it's like what Ben said uh, on last um, Cybercast. Like again, this stuff is say if you have like your Titans and whatever or your combiners, mm-hmm. this stuff would look. That's why I'm buying them because I, they would yeah. look great with. Uh, I'm Metroplex tempted. I'm Scorpion really tempted. Eye. It's still not to scale, but it's it's a lot better looking, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's more visually pleasing. Yeah. 
and bloody cheaper. <laughs> uh, I mean, last time we saw Shockwave, 86 movie, <laughs> he's sitting there, Unicron's transforming, and uh, or, or was it was he on the planet and the building came down on top of him or something? Like, you don't really know, but... You know, yeah, never yeah, confirmed. Yeah, never confirmed. Yeah. I always wish that, you know, out forget kind of keep the Japanese stuff separate, but I always wish that they would come in now and do a continuation of what happened after the US Transformers continuity and catch up with all of the characters and new characters like mm-hmm. 40 years, 50 years later. I wish they would do well, that because I will. feel like yeah. I feel like we would we would like that and then for kids that have never experienced it, it could be as cool as it was when we were kids but we would love that like our you know anybody yeah. from 30 to 60 would love to see that yeah well, and you could like introduce Netflix. it could be yeah. darker first of all like just a darker transformer series but you're catching up with your old friends kind of and then right. getting introduced to what has happened since then and how horrible is it how has the war gone i, I would love to watch that Mostly because I want some new stuff, you know. I want new. I want some new characters. I, I've got enough. I mean, you know, we all have enough Optimus Primes. And what ha- what happened after all that? So, look look at this for the people that were then like the back of the Ironhide. I think this is interesting though. Like like they got oh, yeah. little fillers and stuff like that. Like okay, whatever. Some of those people like you know they don't like the holes, but it was interesting. So yeah. You know. Cover that back up. If it was a demand for it, I'd understand, but it's, I don't know. And hey, this is the demand. Yeah. Make him taller. I don't, I don't think I need this. I, I'm, I'm pretty freaking happy with Scorpion yeah. the way it looks. Yeah, Listen to the I just, voices I, in just your canceled, head. I just canceled. I just canceled all of my DNA kits. I just canceled <gasps> every single one. Uh, I don't need them. I, I think I'm happy with what I have, and I, I just canceled them all. I had the Scorpionock ones on pre-order, and I just canceled them. I like Scorpionock just fine the way it is. Plus, I'm like, oh, I, I don't want to spend another $80 on a figure that I've already spent so much on. I'm good. I would prefer with this DNA stuff, I mean, I'll hold my hands up and say, for, yeah, I bought DNA stuff, but I don't like for for one fig, it's like, okay, we have, say, part A, B, C. Just do it all yeah. in one. Don't yeah. say, one fig, yeah. you can yeah. spend 60 quid now, or 60 bucks yeah. even, or however you want to call it, and then wait a while. Right, now you're happy with that, now you've got to spend another 60. And it's like, yeah. no, that 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 don't fly. Um, yeah. I get it other because... Cool things. Yeah, they need to at least make it easy. I agree. Yeah. Make, it e- make it one set. Just do the stuff that you need to do or, you know, felt like it was missing. But, yeah, there's too many other cool, awesome things out right now. I, if I get to spending $100 a month in kits, I don't know, man. <laughs> what we all need to do is crowdfund, do a Kickstarter to get, like, crazy Debbie to come back on the scene and just demolish <laughs> everyone. Yeah. Like, they were the everything back in the day of, like, third party stuff. Yeah, the early, the early stuff. Yeah. All right. Here you go, Chris. Alien attack. 127 centimeters. What is that in American? In, That's in, about two, inter- uh, two inches in a woman's perspective, probably. Yeah. It's, it's she's so you got a man's inch and a woman's inch. Uh, alien attack. I mean, they had it here, and it looks all kind of like cool and metal looking. But then you get close up, and you're like, "Oh, it's 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 like it's like foamy, oh, foamy looking plastic." You tried, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds big, 120 centimeters. Well, I'm 184 centimeters, so I still don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Camera says 30 centimeters mm-hmm. is around a foot, so 120 would be about four foot. Mm-hmm. And then, then they show us this picture. Like, like this helps because I don't know how tall that kid and that yeah. person is. 
here, here, here's the skill for some random person. But it's and like the weakest success thing. I, I, I get it, but I guess it lights up. Yeah. When I think of prime, a, a sword doesn't come to my mind. How know? much is this? How much is this thing anyway? Does it say? No, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be too stupid on price. All right. But there is a sword I am considering in getting. Maybe it'll be shown here. I, I need I need this guy. Hey, if anyone finds this guy, I need him, please. Is he street dated? Supposedly the eighteenth. Okay. Uh I need him. If there's any troop builders, I need three. And any of the other ones, I just need one of. I, I troop build in threes, and the rest of them, I just need ones. So if you find them, help me out if you could. Yeah, looks nice. Randy, you'll look for me because you're done with this line. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, a lot of people are, sadly. Cameron, I still don't even know where to find G.I. Joe's at my target. I've never seen them, uh, seen a, a shelf spot for them, let alone the figures. <laughs> I see a peg that says G.I. Joe. Uh, May 18th <laughs> or something. So Yeah. All right. And here is Black Series Target exclusives again. Of course. The six uh, inch or three three quarter? Six inch. Six inch black series. And they put them in that package? Wow. Yeah, it's an anniversary gimmick. That's nice. Just like, they, just like they're doing with the uh, Phantom Menace ones at Best Buy. I like that. I don't, man. I want them all in the same freaking boxes. That way I can <laughs> put them in other boxes and put them away. Like all the stuff that they had come out with previous that was on card, I just had to throw the cards away. So mm. now I got figures that don't have boxes. Your target has Power Rangers in it? Well, I'm sure nobody wants them. Nobody wants no Power Rangers, man. i tell you what my store has is it's – they've all got a bunch of Masters of the Universe. And I don't think it's because it's not selling. They just like – Mattel's keeping that in stock. They got a lot of Jurassic Park because Mattel's keeping that stuff in stock. Mm -hmm. And there's a crap load of Space Jam, which is not moving at all. So. Hey, don't forget the yeah. Ghostbusters figures. Yeah. The Ghostbusters figures are not <laughs> moving at all either. And, no, they, and that movie still, you know, there's no no one knows, I guess, when it's really coming it's in, out. It's in limbo, yeah. Which is ridiculous. And here's what's going to happen is we're going to get shorted on all the G.I. Joes that we want. And then this movie that hasn't even got a trailer yet. No trailer. Is, is <laughs> going to come out and they're going to bombard us with these movie figures. And yeah, I mean, there'll be some people that buy them, but like the main, the main people that they're like, all right, we're, we hear you guys. You really want these guys. No, we want the original, the ones that look like the originals. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, and I guarantee you, with that movie, there's gonna be probably three waves. If I had to guess, oh. it, there's already. I bet they've already made them. I guarantee there's at least three waves of the of the figures. Yeah, I hope they don't. Well, you I don't know think they they'll do them. that though. I don't think they're gonna make us wait for the other characters this year. I think they're. I think in June they're going to bombard bombard us with stuff. That's what I think. They're going to show think stuff. It's going to be a bunch of movie stuff. That's the thing is they're not giving us all these vipers that we're demanding. Major blood that we're demanding. Alley vipers. Any of that stuff. It's still going to be like here's a little target exclusive and stuff, and it's impossible to find. Yeah, and then they're barbecue. like barbecue. And then, and then they're going to be like, yo, look at all these movie figures. You can find them everywhere, online, Target, Walmart, no exclusives. And it's like, that's not the stuff we wanted, man. And then they're going to be like, well, I guess we made too many because y'all said y'all wanted to buy them, but <laughs> no one's buying them. So I guess we're going to go back to barely making them anymore. I just know that's going to happen. You know, I already, I already see it happening, man. And, and the whole the whole thing is, no, we do want them. 
we just don't want your movie stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I do think it was it's ironic that there's no troop builder in the movie wave. That's not lost on me, the ironic part to that. I I I, I still don't understand the concept of you made two exclusives that are troop builders and GI Joe to where it's like this is this is the same brand Hasbro. You're the same brand that makes Star Wars that has like a bajillion troop builders, you know, and you know we like to troop build and army build. This guy looks awesome, by the way. I, I yeah. like that helmet a lot. Is his name Hawk? Is that who yeah. that is? What, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, they, they all look good. Get them all. And no, the good thing about these four is they're not tr troop builders. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They're all I'm individual. I'm happy about that. I mean that 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 one. Yeah. Is it, he really uh, cartoon looking? Because uh, that looks like the the real dude. <laughs> Was it you and McGregor or whatever? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So well, it's close. All four of those. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys hear a date on those, let me know because I haven't seen a date for those. I'm assuming the, it'll they'll go up on the fourth, but who knows? I'm gonna set my alarm. I'm gonna be up there, man, again at seven thirty or seven fifteen. <clears throat> okay, so this this new gray skull that looks that looks really good. You know, so here, here's the old OG right here, but oh. the the different in the paints of the door, you know, going the wood and adding some paint there, yeah. uh, the change of the teeth, you know, to where this dude mm -hmm. looks like he just needs to go to a dentist. But this, you know, <laughs> it, like this, he's got some sharp teeth there. Uh, also, more details in the stones you can see, and then like you can see how this was just straight across. They kind of you know staggered this. It looks like yeah. they added more texture in the stones as well. Yeah. Like, dude, that, that's a clean looking Castle Grey Skull, mm -hmm. this new one. Yeah. And yeah, uh, the original is more organic, where the skull isn't symmetrical. It's kind of right. oddly shaped and a little more creepy. Mm -hmm. And the new one is definitely cleaner lines. It kind of looks like a cross between the original and the classics, you know, the, is, yeah. the, the ultimate Grey Skull. Yeah, but I, I think fantastic job on that that's a great job i think it's cool that they're still doing the little spray paint like the old kind of mm -hmm. like the old way but, but with the green you know just kind of hitting it just for a second right. here yeah, and there. The yeah and then man that sucker those colors they look beautiful especially with skeletor yeah. in there with his purple and blue yeah, it's a nice line. I like the price point of this line. It feels pretty good, and you can find most of them pretty easily. It takes sometimes it take you you know a little while, but you'll find them. But yeah, I like this line. But most of the price is just so attractive. It feels good yeah. like when you can go and even not just for me, but for my kid, like having you know that fifteen dollar price point for most stuff, the figures, and I like that. Yeah. Uh, Randy books. Those are target, right? Those star Wars figures. Yeah. Those are going to be the target exclusives. And Cameron says, uh, this last week I stumbled across the source for that green rabbit star Wars figure that you're doing a figure for. Apparently it was an early Marvel comics. Oh, yeah. Character. yeah. I don't know. I mean, I got them pre-ordered. I don't really care about them though. Uh, I did see a pretty funny photo, uh, where, uh, God, who was, they had that green rabbit and uh he was holding hands with like some other type of rabbit character but it was that meme where it was the dude like looking back at the other chick and it was the white rabbit from marvel legend you know yeah <laughs> you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah from spider-man yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was pretty funny i still love that meme that's my that's probably my favorite meme because you could you could, <laughs> you could just keep using it all yeah. the time. Yeah. Oh. Battle cat. I, I like Finally. his grin. 
I like his I finally got this guy. It took a while, but patience. I have not seen any of these deluxes anywhere. But he looks I only good. found one. I've seen one, and I got, yeah. got that one. <laughs> he's got, he's, oh, so he comes with two faces. Yeah, he's yeah, got two he's heads. Like a more aggressive face. Got this guy. He's awesome. I like, I like Trey Clubs, too. Yeah, that's that's like his OG sword right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Whenever I see this stuff, it feels so OG. I, I, I think about that yeah. song from the commercials. He man, he yeah. man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like I almost hear it playing when I, when I see the pictures. You got the elevator and everything, the stickers. <clears throat> they I'm glad the, that they They upgraded the stuff inside. It's no longer a cardboard cutout. It's an actual plastic piece for the computer and the screen. Yeah. And, consoles and all that i think that they should um i think they should still do the suit of armor and it should just come with a deluxe figure or something they should figure out a way to put that suit of armor in yeah. one of the other accessories or like kits that they do maybe a vehicle you know just i think that they should still do or just do a pack like you know do like a cool pack of um motu stuff mm -hmm. and have that suit of armor so you can put it in grace and just sit it in there Cameron says, I have a friend who doesn't collect action figures at all, but he's a huge Bret Hart fan. So I told him about Bret Hart Triclops figure from three weeks oh, ago. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, don't know, I don't know what Bret Hart is. So. Yeah, man. Bret Hart it's a big time WWF all that wrestler. One of the wrestling guys. Okay. Yep. Part of the Hart Foundation and some good uh, like heart records. as in h-a-r-t or like yeah. heart, like your your blood h-a-r-t okay. yeah that, their tag team okay so you're talking to, you're talking to me like like i watch this stuff i, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't watch it I, for, I forget i'm like you're I, from I, can, I can name maybe like, like i can name like three wrestlers like hulk hogan macho Roddy man in uh Hyper. Andre the Giant because he was in uh, uh, Princess Bride. Yeah. I used to love Big uh, Boss Man back in the day. Big Boss Man. I do too. My kid likes him too, man. Yeah. My, my cousin, old stuff. He, he, he was into it. And when we went to Maine, like he had some wrestling figures, but I couldn't tell you who he was anymore. Yeah, I agree. Those, are, those that, are the man. only toys that he like played with. So like when we wanted to, oh, Sergeant Slaughter. So, yeah, yeah, I know who he is. Yeah. So I could probably name like five wrestlers, you know, like, like if it was one of the situations where name five wrestlers to save your life, like I think, I think I could. <laughs> Years and knife. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could survive. Almost sure. But, but it, like if it went any higher than that, then I'm running into trouble. Oh, what is this sorcerer, man. She's showing some thigh, man. <laughs> Comes with a castle. Well, at least the castle's good. That way you don't yeah. feel like, oh, you know, I got to buy this crap castle to get this exclusive figure. Yeah. Action figure expert, what's up? Uh, man, we're just eyeballing this sorceress. Some good wings. Yeah, it, it reminds me of like uh, those movies to where like the girls behind the shower thing to where it's kind of oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's I guess that's what they're going for. <laughs> yeah, they're having fun with it there. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> the, the OG, God. man. That's night and day. Still have mine. Still yeah, resonates. This... Still resonates, man. Oh, With yeah. kids and adults. Yeah, we we played different. last weekend. We played uh, with Castle Grayskull and just the Motu figures for probably two hours. 
my, my kids like please play with me so my wife played for an hour and i played for an hour nice and everybody everybody likes no two man it's good stuff weapons rack yeah yeah good stuff when are we going to get that new fiction when's that trailer going to drop um, yeah I've seen this stuff was packed even last week all through the stores. Uh, I've never even heard of uh, Shang Chi before in this Legend I've, of Ten Rings. I got him in some old Marvel books, like some team up books, The Master of mm -hmm. Kung Fu, um, with Spider Man. I think I only had maybe one or two issues of comics which he was in so he was much more obscure for me that i saw um than like ghost rider and stuff like that like when i was growing up yeah because I, I know uh, who ghost rider is like he i mean I, I i i read some kind of obscure stuff um yeah you know, just because a lot of it was i thought the the covers like when i was younger like yep. like i liked my x-men and spider-man but if you had a cool cover and yep. I didn't even know who you were. I'd be like, I'll check it out. So like Night Thrasher, exactly. uh, Shadow yeah. Hawk, which I think that's like Image, uh, the yep. Max, you know. Yeah. You, so you know what I, you know what I'm talking about. Like so yep. some of those where I was like, oh, this kind of you know cool and stuff like that. Or even that's how like you saw Spawn. A lot of kids are like I don't know what Spawn is, but like mm -hmm. dude, that cape and chains, man, that that's <laughs> yeah. cool looking. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. True. Yeah. So like I, I would I would dabble into some uh the Target got a ton of her I think she's uh, exclusive really oh. or or what what one was exclusive oh, I think it's I think it's this one uh, yeah I don't even th I don't think I'm gonna buy any of these uh, the coolest thing about this for me would be M Mr Hyde and he's not quite the Mr Hyde that I'd want as the build a figure i mean he's cool looking but he's not exactly the one from the comics that i would want mm -hmm. Action of course i haven't is. seen the movie sometimes you see the movie and you're like wow i gotta own those toys so maybe the movie's gonna be amazing action figure expert wants a real blast yeah i'm sure they'll make a real blast I'm oh they sure will they'll make, them, they'll make them all they did announce uh, faker and fisto and yeah they're already yeah. out in malaysia did you Evil see that Land. yesterday yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll get those soon. Uh, Cameron says, uh, Shang-Chi was literally made to take advantage of the popularity of Bruce Lee back in the 70s. Some of his supporting characters are... Uh, what is it? Racially. Radic racially? Okay, I thought I didn't know. I think it was radically uh, troublesome. So he hasn't been around too much recently. Mm. Mm. Makes sense. Which which one of the three? Oh yeah, I, dude. Uh, those those are uh, in the eighties, man. Uh, everything is pop popular from the Bruce Lee. You know, back then. Uh, God, what was it? The Last Dragon. Remember that movie? Leroy. Sounds familiar. Who, who's the master? Show sure enough. Where he's got the glow, and then he's like, um, <laughs> he basically he like, uh, it's this black guy. He basically uh, like, like is uh, loves Bruce Lee and does all this training and stuff, and then he goes back to, I don't know, New York or something. It's always like a New York or somewhere, um, and goes to like this dance place, uh, and the the DJ girl like she's hot and stuff and. I don't know if she gets kidnapped or something. I don't know. But but then there's like a, a a gang where they're all like into martial arts and stuff. And I don't know. It's cool because they uh, when the dudes come out and fight, like one of them like is wearing like a hockey mask and swinging a chain. There's another one that's I don't know. He's he's wearing some like it looks like like whenever I was a kid, like we had. Uh, a bunch of costumes. So we had ninja, Batman stuff, you know, mm -hmm. armor plates and helmets, knight mm -hmm. helmets and plates. It's like, it's a toy chest of that stuff. 
and then it was just like everyone just grabbed something, you know, and everyone started yeah. putting on like it did. You weren't even trying to match. You were just like, I just need an armor plate. It doesn't matter yeah. if it doesn't go with my helmet. That's what all these dudes looked like. It was just like the most scatterbrained stuff. It was <laughs> God, we're, let's see. Uh, yeah. this is good. This is it. Yeah, so that's him. He, he's even wearing the yellow and the black. Yeah. And then shown off, uh, like, look at these characters. The, and then, yeah, he's got the glow. Dude, this this this, this movie, it's 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 great. <laughs> Wow. It's 1985. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you have to say. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, it's got the hot, the hot girl in it. And, <laughs> uh, I was hoping there would be some pictures of. Uh, I don't know. Is this all role playing stuff? I thought we were looking at the action figures, but all right. So, and then more Marvel Legends. Uh, B says, "I uh, love the new Ten Rings." I mean, I'll see. I'll see what the movie's about. You know, probably won't pick up any of the action figure just because, yeah. You know, like I, I, I know Ghost Rider too, but I don't buy any Ghost Rider. I only stick to X Men and uh, Spider Man for Marvel stuff. So, uh, yeah. Throne Game says, "I hope McFarland does Batman Soul of the Dragon figures from the animated movie." Uh, Love to have that Jim Kelly action figure, Soul of the Dragon. Okay, let's see, let's see if I remember that one. I know that there was a that's the seventies, the seventies version. Okay. It's recent. Okay. It's like within the last uh, four months, maybe. Okay, because there is a figure that's coming up that uh, was from the Batman Ninja movie. It is oh. terrible. Yeah. Like that movie is terrible. Uh, that's the first DC animated movie that I I couldn't finish. I was just like, this is this is just crazy. So yeah, the the build a figure pieces are his wings. Yeah, yeah. I guess kind of like a uh, vulture from mm -hmm. the movie. Yeah. Do you, do, you, do you like that? I would prefer that they just make it him like a deluxe and you know and yeah, me too. more like yeah, if you wanted it like archangel like archangel yeah. was just like dude, i'd be deluxe. pissed if you me too. if i had to buy archangel and then here's a bunch of other characters that i wanted you're like hey we're packing in two mm. more iron mans in there and another deadpool yeah. that you know you don't need and it's like yeah you know, so you can get these wing pieces i'm like i don't need i just want the wing pieces you yeah know, the archangel so yeah so, so make them a little bit more let me buy them because, like, I just finished this series. You're gonna want the wings. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but this is all the Disney Plus. Kind of wave thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not into any of these figures. Mm. Oh, there's uh one Diamond Select Toys did of uh Bucky, dude. It it is bad. <laughs> like like terrible bad. Not like like badass. So. <laughs> like train wreck bad. Yeah. This dude. Oh, yeah, that's the okay. Yeah, I won't, I won't spoil it if someone hasn't seen it. Okay, I'll buy you no vision. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Looks pretty good. They haven't really uh, nailed his his face. Yeah, he, he looks like there's a problem there. Just well, an average white guy with a robot arm. <laughs> See those all the time, right? Look at look at his <laughs> look at his face there, you know. And then uh, that doesn't look anything, but dude, uh, the diamond select one I think is next, and oh, I just I still just don't like him with the short hair. I'll go. I just it, I, I hair, like him yeah. with the. Longer hair just fits that character better. I don't know yeah. why. It just does. Yeah, I like it too. Cameron says, I heard some idiot fans threatening the actor who played U.S. agent on social media after one of the episodes. Oh, yeah, what? he was getting death threats and everything. Really? Like, really what? Really, really, really bad. <laughs> why? Yeah. People, People realize it's separated, like, man. this is fake, right? It's Look, fantasy. Dude, yeah. If you think about it, it's that type of thing has gotten worse because social media like if you think about it, like social media becomes reality. Like when you take pictures and you're only seeing like images and those types of things, I think it's gotten worse. People can't separate reality from bad. fiction, dude. But it used to, it was like that years ago, you know, when you see like an actor at a convention before there was like all these conventions. Now you always used to hear about, they thought I was really that soap opera bad guy. You know, you yeah. always heard about that, but now I think it's worse. Well, that happened people with Smallville. You know, with, people don't uh, know the difference. That's crazy to me that people don't know the difference, but it's true. Yeah. That happens oh, small though. From Game says uh, Hasbro Pulse is shipping out the Hellfire Club set this week. I just got my notification. Good, cool. man. I, yeah. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that. I guess did they restock them or something? That's cool that they did that. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, a, mean, I that's thought a they nice sold set. out a long really time ago. That. Uh, here's your another one. Like, I don't need Hercules. You know, when is this coming out? Uh, but they're doing Fantastic Four again. Yeah, and it's like, man, y'all have done Fantastic Four like every every two years. It's yeah, either an exclusive yeah. out of Walgreens or you can find it at Walmart. No matter what. Nah, now you're gonna come with two different versions of Human Torch. Man, I feel like that was just last year. I feel like it was, it was not that long ago. Yeah, year. yeah, yeah. They were, just, year. they were they were like lighter blue. These are the darker blue ones. Like I guess if, uh, if there was one I wanted, it would probably be these darker blue ones. Yeah, they have done that. They've done like the different artist styles, you know. Yeah. From different stories, different eras. I just picked up another aim guy recently. For you know, big bucket head or whatever, um, Modok. Because I only had, I think I had two of them, and then I had the scientist two pack or whatever that one was. Oh, so I don't I have. Like I, I needed another one, so I need to buy a couple of aim guys. Yeah, I haven't opened up my Modok. How was that when you put it together? It looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I got to take him out. I haven't opened them yet. I have the old toy biz one from years ago, but this one looks better, I think. It's pretty big too. <clears throat> uh, another Wolverine. Uh, let's see. Let me catch up with this. Anthony Mackie, the Falcon, and Sebastian Stan Bucky. I previously talked about what a great guy the actor was to work with months ago before it aired. Uh, they will do the Fantastic Four again in two to three years whenever uh, do their first MCU movie. Fourth movie attempt, if you count the Fox ones. And that, that's it for this. Oh, where's, where's that the, Diamond this Select? Is, uh, I, I want to show you the Diamond Select one. Uh, before, yes. Okay. Do you remember what that other Bucky looked like? Yep. Like, like it wasn't that great, but it wasn't. It was somewhere like, in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, so you look at this Falcon, and you're like, okay, doesn't look that bad, you know, compared to Marvel Legends, you know, like th there's not a huge drop off, and these are usually a little bit bigger as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're like, not a huge drop off there. Looks nice. The paint looks nice, and everything. Face, you know. Looks nice. L look at this Bucky face. 
That's not even the no. hair, that's not even the old hairstyle or the new hairstyle. Is this the comic book version? This is a comic book version, right? Uh, I believe so. It says comic. Yeah, that's comic book stuff, dude. It it looks terrible. Look at that jawline, dude. <clears throat> the... Trash. Yeah, <laughs> the pictures aren't great either, but yeah. dude, and they're doing their that best. Bad, but yeah, that, you're right. Uh, it does look weird. They're doing their best shattered glass jazz impression too, trying to get these like perfect pictures. Like he can't even get his feet to stabilize, you know. That's but that's Diamond Select toys, so. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm not a fan of Diamond Select, but I have this guy on um, pre-order, and this is one of those times where, and it's not supposed to be out till like August or something. Target did that thing that they do where they send you an email and you have like what a day or two to check your email and then go onto the Target app and say, approve the delay because the figure will be delayed or something. And you have That's to go in up. and hit the button. Mm -hmm. And if you don't hit the button, they cancel it. That's messed up. Yeah. So I managed, I, I got in and did it. I, I must have been in the last few hours of doing it, but I got they, in and, and did it. They did that to us on one figure like three times. Do you remember that? Like, yeah, they, the they do it all figure. the time. They're they like, oh, we're, we're pushing it back again. I was like, dude, like, a after I said yes, I still want it the first time. But like, okay, this guy wants it, you know, but like a second time, a third time. And this this is actually a troop builder, the, the one before that you were showing the Red Century. It's from Shattered Grid with Dracon and all the cool, darker Power Ranger stuff from the mm -hmm. comic books. This is a troop builder and, and they were limit one. So I did my order and then I made a separate order before the time ran out. And then I got my wife to make an order. So you, damn you target. Uh, uh, <laughs> what, what do you, what do you call him? Chris, you sneaky bugger. <laughs> you sneaky bugger. <laughs> is this the glitter ones? This looks glittery doing. Yeah. I I would not want that. That's, Wonder that's, why I don't. Who is that for? What, what they're doing? I'm assuming this is Rocky, like the second. So what they'll do is they'll make a glitter version, and then the second version of the Power Rangers, whoever that character was, like I think this is Rocky. They'll include that head. So for a while, that's the only way to get it. So you're really buying the entire figure for the head. So they did the pink one like that. Yeah. If you know Pink Rangers, the first two Pink Rangers were, you know, Amy Joe and um, Johnson and Catherine Sullivan. And oh, they're I both know. very pop they're both very popular in the Ranger world. So the only way to get that Catherine Sutherland head, second Pink Ranger, was to get the glitter version from Pulse. So they're only, doing that only know cash grabbing. Amy Joe Johnson, that's the only person I know. Oh, you uh, need, yeah. Th they're th both good. This is a mess up. The Black Ranger, I remember he was a black guy. Yeah, I'm confused as like Zach. where who are these people under the masks? Yeah. He's, yeah. he's the second one. So the only way to Adam was the second one. And Adam was around in the Power Rangers for a while. He's actually one of the more popular ones after you get through like that first two seasons. Really? He becomes very popular and he sticks around for a while. He'll be a Green Ranger later. So yeah, he's... He's very popular. But the only way to get that Adam head currently is to order this glitter version. You see where I'm going with this cash Jeez. grab, cash grab. I, I, I ain't playing that game. You know that? I'm sorry. Go ahead and hit him, sport. Hit him. Yeah. Uh, action figure expert says the uh, one Marvel Select figure that I highly recommend is the most recent Hulk figure. I've heard that from a more than one person. So That Hulk is amazing. Yeah, I have heard that. And I've seen some pictures of people talk about the Hulk. What is going on with the inner arms there? That this whole little thing. Yeah. That looks, oh, the, the that looks terrible. Really. That looks yeah. terrible. Most of your figures have them. Even the Joes, to some degree, have them. Some have a better butterfly than others. Like um, Bobby's, uh, the Valiver stuff that Bobby's doing. Uh, action force those are going to have really nice butterflies like that it just enables you to to come in, to come in you know like this and hold a gun properly and 
or um, if you're like Wolverine, it allows you to put your shoulders back a little further and just yeah, do more. Some dive. of the Wolverines yeah. had those, but these don't look good. As long as it doesn't rub it's off the paint. It's because they have the diamond shapes yeah. all the way around their torso. Yeah. See what I'm saying? And you, it's kind of weird. It happens a lot when you have uh, costumes that have decorations that get broken up and, right. you know, make them bigger. You make them bigger or longer when you start to move them around. Yeah. Well, that's that's not Billy. Also, these have yeah. pearlescent. It's not white. They're using like a, with the glitter, they use that pearlescent white. So it's got a sheen on it. Mm. And that makes it even worse. Dude, they might not look I, as bad I would person. stay away from these glitter ones. These look terrible. Yeah, they're nowhere near as cool as the just the flat paint. Yeah. And the only way to get the Aisha head or, you know, is to, again, keep getting these. And I don't think the head sculpt does justice to her. Most of them don't. I wouldn't want any of those. And then it's the only way, I guess, to get the Billy when he stopped wearing the glasses and he was like 40, but still playing a teenager. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, some Super 7. You got a new wave. Krang is going to cost just as much as the other ones. I did not go all in on this. I'm cherry picking starting now. Yeah, I got the Krang and I got the other guy. Crocodile guy. Yeah, I got leather, the Leatherhead. Yeah. Leatherhead, yeah. Dude, I Ray got Leatherhead is the coolest one Krang. now. Yeah, and, I didn't get uh, the others. This Dakota's guy. That, yeah, it even comes with the crawfish, man. Have you seen yeah. that? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, as soon as I saw that, I thought Dakota. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I never did find the NECA version of this guy, but at least I got this guy pre order. Yeah, man, I loved Ray Filet. Didn't the original one change color or something like that? Didn't yep. they have that? Change? Okay. Yeah. I wonder if they'll do that with this one. Probably not. Probably <laughs> I, not. Doubt, I doubt it. I like I like the different head too. Yeah. It's weird how his tail hangs down. <laughs> it looks kind of weird from the front. <laughs> he's packing, man. <laughs> Ray, that's why he's got that big grin on his face. Yeah. He looks cool. I just don't know anything about him. Me and I either. wasn't a, I wasn't a huge Turtles cartoon person or and toy I had, person. I did. I had tons of turtles. I had, this is another one I had. I've had all these that they've shown so far. Samurai Leo. Yeah. He's got a lot of weapons. That's good. Yeah, I mean, dude, this would be a, a, an awesome wave right here. All of them have been awesome waves. They've been all winners. And Batman Beyond, uh, Strike, mm -hmm. uh, Unmasked version, I believe uh, Target exclusive. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. It's exclusive somewhere, either Amazon or Target. I can't remember. Remember this guy, eh? Uh, let's see. I'm sure it'll sit up here. Oh, didn't he Amazon. create like shockwaves? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I remember him. Then. Uh, released on April 1st. Amazon. Uh, McFarlane, a little two pack here. That's quite cool. Have all you guys seen the new uh, uh, Mortal Kombat movie? Yep. No. You haven't seen it, Sport? Have you seen it, Ray? No. Yeah. Dude, I, I liked it, man. It, it was oh, exactly too. what I what it should have been. And yep. some people were – I saw some people were complaining. I, I don't know what their complaints were. Uh, I was just like, dude, like, 
it 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 was just it was cool. Like it, it, it took it more serious than what the yeah. old ones did that were just mm-hmm. straight up cheese, but at the same time, like not taken, you know. Uh, yeah, it, the they, they kind perfect, of did it. in my opinion, apart from yeah. the new edition. Yeah. But the guy who played Kano, he saw the show. Like I was just perfect. What was yeah, the one was good. dude's name that like they tried to center the story around this one guy? And I'm like, I don't even oh, know. Yeah. This no one remembers his I name. Know. It's like who yeah. <laughs> I thought he was like I'm like, is he, he gonna be is he gonna become the scorpion or, or yeah. something? Like like I was trying to follow and I'm like, wait, so he's just some different dude that like I'm like, why are we focusing so much on him <laughs> like he, i he thought was he was gonna inherit one. like the same kunai and chain and stuff it's like oh my god like yeah but no just nothing uh it's hbo max exclusive and in theaters right now uh apparently this was uh this is dom select uh they reissued this guy and apparently that they had to limit people to one or something like that because, yeah, uh, it's a, yeah, it's. I think isn't it worth something? I mean, I know it's a re-release, but isn't this one like on the aftermarket? It was a lot, so I'm sure our scalpers got wind of it and again stepped in. Yeah, see, I didn't even try to order any, but yeah, same here. I, I, I mean, it's a watcher. Like, yeah, that's cool, but I don't need it on my shelf. But if you're a completist for your legends, I could understand. I can see where this would be popular. A uh, couple NECA things. Uh, you get your Mutage Man and Ace Duck. Had hey. both of these, so I'm happy, I'm happy with the Ace Duck. Uh, he is missing something. He used to come with uh, the, the original one. He came with, like, grenade eggs. Yeah, he did. Right? Okay. Huh. With a belt like, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a, like a belt, like a harness go, goes across, or some, or maybe it was around his waist. I, I'm not sure how the I toy, it. the toy version did, yeah, yeah, but the cartoon, I'm not sure if they they included that. So I guess not. To, and I know, it's, you know, it's NECA, so we'll, we'll, I mean, all we can really ask for is these things to not break. So yeah, we're not stay, getting too, we're not getting too beast. Yeah. All right, Cameron, later, man. We'll finish this up. Uh, this also, dude, I love this two pack because I want, you know, want both Anthrax and Scumbug had both these. <laughs> They're cool. So, again, you just you hope they don't break. Uh, one missed opportunity here with the bugs is the on the toy they had it to where they kind of had a where you could clip them on to the little hoses yep. and stuff. Mm. And they didn't do that here. So missed opportunity there. It would have broke. They were like, we're already breaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the, these two guys are pretty cool. And man... Dude, I there there are some uh, Twitter uh, people that I, I like to follow that they like they have some NECA stuff, but they are tired of the NECA BS and also the NECA bros always like praising <laughs> NECA. <laughs> this, they sold this figure and they tried to say like yo hey we could only do god i forget what it was what was it like 2000 or something i think so limited with the yellow jacket and said like hey we had to limit it because like this cost like a lot of money but then like people showed pictures of like hey you've made yellow jackets for like caroline and all these other figures you know oh, before yeah, yeah. And you never said anything about, hey, you know, we couldn't do it because it cost money. No, you made it, and those were cheaper figures. And they're like, yeah, so it doesn't work with like if something's six inch and seven inch, you know, like, dude, I ain't trying to hear your BS. <laughs> but they've included this jacket, and this actress's 
signature, mm-hmm. and they charge a hundred dollars for it. Whoa! <laughs> it was like, wow. like yeah, what? Like, I don't want yeah. Like so, the figure's like uh, thirty dollars, and I was yeah. like, I, I didn't even want this version because I'm like, I'm not paying a hundred dollars for this chick's autograph. I don't even. Out of the two Aprils, I like uh, Paige Turco more. Yeah. So. Uh, and I wouldn't pay her a hundred dollars for an autograph. I'm just not into the autographs anyway. But uh, I don't know. The it was thirty dollars on their website, and then it's fifteen dollars for shipping, and then plus. So you're you it'd be like on their website like fifty dollars, you know, after taxes and shipping for this one figure. And I'm just like, man, I, I don't even think I even care that much. I'm just gonna take my chances at Walmart. <laughs> It'd probably yeah. be cheaper to go on to what's our website and uh, you can get like a video message or um, just some random like shout out from like celebrities and whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's like you go on there and it's like, yeah, you pay what for her? Yeah, two for minutes with somebody. Yeah. How long. Give her like 15, 20 bucks. Like, yeah, you know, I'll do whatever. Yeah. Clean your shoes for 20 bucks probably. I've been at work so long. But look at those knees. Look at the <laughs> knees, man. What is that? What did they do there? I said, yeah, I said no to this. I was going to get it because I have the turtles. I don't have anything else, just the turtles from the movie. And But no, I said no to this. I can't do it. I need the turtles from that movie, but I can't find them. Uh, Kurt Fury says cameo, I guess. Is the that's one. the badger. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, like I'm looking at this, I'm like, well, if I order off their site, it's gonna end up being after shipping everything like fifty bucks. Like, I I'm not paying fifty dollars for this figure. I don't, I'm not even sure if I want to pay thirty dollars for it whenever I see it in Walmart. I just I can't believe that people were out there paying a hundred dollars, uh, for to to get her signature and jacket. Like I get, she may she may have made some kind of deal with them. Like, I you can do this of you know my face likeness, which I'm I'm not exactly sure how close that is to her likeness, but uh, but I want to you know I want to be able to sell my signature, you know, and make this extra money and stuff or whatever. Yeah, she was really like, involved if I with this paying a hundred dollars. I wouldn't want an autograph. I'd want to get like access to her OnlyFans account or something. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know. She's pretty old now. <laughs> so, oh, the, well, the, 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 yeah, that, that could yeah. be. Yeah, you might not want that. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is also like yes, a, uh, Iron Maiden. This is the eight-inch dolls. Eddie is well, awesome. I can't believe they packed. Did you say too. doll? Uh, did. Uh, I mean, I I, I think so. <laughs> dolls. <I> did. <laughs> You're getting this, Chris? I would. I'd get on this in a heartbeat. Uh, I grew up uh, as a metalhead. Like, my dad's been a metalhead and whatever. But, like, Iron Maiden is basically in my blood. Um, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, you, and you know it's made by NECA. You know you're going to break it, too. I'm not the one that's going to touch it. I'm going to get him to put it on my shelf. So, uh, that, that, that's that's my story. This is uh, Tomashi Nations. Uh, they're reimagined, you know. They've already done the Boba Fett and Django and, you know, of course, Mandalorian armor. They're going to do him too. As a cosplay, I'd see that it's cool, but is an actual figure. It's like, uh, why? And this fits into the 7-inch. And so... Cool. <clears throat> Not my thing, but it's cool. It reminds me it's like what you said earlier, Joshua, when it was um what was it, that Batman Samurai uh mm-hmm. anime uh cartoon, it's just like it's just no, why? It just it doesn't work. And for me, for Star Wars and Samurai just don't work. Let's see. Alright, Tomashi Nations again. Look at the nose on that. That's a face only a mother would love. Uh, 
a lot more articulation on these. The accessory is I, quite cool. I like the bounce effect yeah. on the, yeah. the ground. I'd like to have that for one of my other caps. In Icon Heroes, this is six inch. Uh, one of our heroes, Johnny Lawrence. <laughs> and it's prime. Yeah. And uh, Johnny Lawrence actually won that fight against Daniel because uh, if you listen to the very beginning, you know, nothing, nothing high above the shoulders or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. And they still award him a point that should have been a point taken away from him. Oh. I still think that's, yeah. You catch that? You, you've seen the movie, right? Mm -hmm. Years ago. Yeah, so the referee comes out and's like, "All right, guys, like nothing above the shoulders, right? Nothing below, yeah. uh, and, and like nothing in the groin, you know." Mm. Uh, and then whenever he he does his little like standing on a leg and like kicks, he kicks him right in the freaking nose. Yeah, that's a good so. point. And they're like, "Oh, Danny Champion!" I was like, "What?" <laughs> uh, Mayfex. Have y'all seen this movie? This this uh, no, nope, refused one? to watch it. No, it yeah, I was watched. Terrible. Frozen I thought I, I thought this. it was I thought it was terrible. What did, what did you think, Rick? It was okay. It wasn't. I mean, it would be last on my list of DC movies, but it's all right. I feel like they're wasting her. I feel like she's a perfect Harley Quinn and they're just wasting yeah. her. Yeah. She's yeah. she's really good. She's a good actress. They they got lucky when they got her. They need to get rid of all this tattoo crap and just yeah. I, I, like I think the, Suicide, Suicide Squad looks really good, dude. This James Gunn Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah. like, look what really do we do with Killer Shark? He's like, why? Killer Shark, King what Shark. Did, Same thing. <laughs> I like the classic look. It's out in August, so you get IG eleven. It's it still takes me a while to say eleven instead of eighty eight. Yeah, yeah, I still get confused. Uh, action figure expert says last on your list of DC movies, Mister Rick. Uh, what about Catwoman? Are you talking about the Holly Berry one? Oh, I don't even count. That doesn't even make. That's dude. not even part of my list. And to be fair, I never actually watched it. I don't. I I'm don't assuming it's, I, I've seen it looks it. horrible. I've seen it twice. I saw it once. I saw it originally when it came out in theater. I paid money to go see this movie. Out oh theater. no! Like, no. like, like I, I had take some time out of my day because I was just like, you know, I, I forget when it come, came out or whatever. But it was like, dude, Holly Berry's hot, you know, and yeah, it's Catwoman. I love Catwoman, you know. Uh, You're dude, like, what could go wrong? What it, could go wrong? <laughs> it is so terrible. The one of the worst scenes in history is when her and the other guy are like playing basketball and trying to kind of flirt with each other, but also playing one on one basketball. So they're kind of like fake rubbing on each other. You're just like, dude, this is the <laughs> cringiest shit I've ever seen in my life. So I don't. I think we've looked at these pictures twice. Yeah. Uh, do um at, at at the very end because we gotta try to get through this stuff. Uh, I'll I'll pull up a uh, Catwoman basketball scene or something like that. Maybe, maybe we can just glance at it. Uh, Mesco, this is the one twelve. Uh, so this is gonna be about six seven inches. Uh, Thomas, good articulation good. though every license i feel like they have every single license this actually doesn't uh actually works out pretty well you know with you know with you know the suit how they how they do it with the you know the fabric mm -hmm. and yeah. everything right. uh, that way it looks like it's all one and you don't see the joints so that actually works out for him i'm worried that their gi joe line is going to be amazing and then i'm going to be like collecting what feels like everything i feel like we're just gonna have to collect what we can find 
<clears throat> yeah, Christopher Reeve's Superman is amazing too. Uh, just a couple of pictures right. of this guy. Uh, Storm collectibles. So this is like seven inches. He's a little guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Because I mean, they just took a, a ton of pictures. I think he's the only guy in here, so I'm just gonna yeah. we'll just look at a few of them. Because I mean, you see one picture of him, you know, you know what he looks like. You don't need to. See yeah, it's, 40 it shots feels of him. like Street Fighter never goes away. It's there's always something out there. Mm -hmm. Since I was honestly maybe six, seventeen, I can't remember when the first, like the original one. That's a long time, dude. I mean. I'm not getting any younger. Street Fighter oh, yeah. is just always there in the background. I don't know what the story behind this is, but um, this is apparently another Goku from uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian, so, well, SH Figure Arts guy. I've actually done that pretty decent, to be fair. That's how he scales with those guys. Cool. And this is uh, Tomashi Nation's, but this is a, a, a new line. This is one ninth of scale. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> um, because why not? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let's start all over and yeah. all the good. Uh, these, these will stand about 6.7 inches tall. So, and they got the little clothes and stuff or whatever. Um, so why did he make oh, just boy. a random well one ninth? Like where'd that come from? Is there any benefit so to that? To, or they just want to be They different? want you to start over. It's time to start anew. <laughs> um, yeah. Art Art says, Ah, oh, my Goku bi weekly news finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been three weeks too, so yeah. you're really hurting for you really yeah. been waiting for yeah. them. Go uh, withdrawal. Yeah. Del Delirium says, just watch that catwoman scene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, tell I'm telling you, it is the most cringe scene. It, it is just terrible. Like you're like, I mean, because you originally think you're like, oh, it's 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 Holly Berry, like you know, basically kind of like grinding up on some guy. And you're like, man, you know, I'll watch that, you know. And then you just <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're like, oh. <laughs> and then they kind of do like the fake, like kind of, oh, look, I fell on you and trip, uh, you know, and they're like, oh, we're kind of close here. Should we get like? And meanwhile, it's just a bunch of like kids that are all like eight and ten years old, just all watching them. I'm that. That's why it's so cringe. Uh, Tomashi Nations, um, or Monster Art, whatever. Uh, I don't even know what this dude's name is. I, I sure as heck can't read that, but he's got a bunch of buzz saws and lasers and stuff, so it looks like he's a pretty powerful dude. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. What the heck is that going on there? Just very uh, if he gets Geigen? The mid wipe. Geigen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he's he's an animal, so they just, just do it on the floor. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't care, man. Uh, okay, so one six scale stuff. So, um, <clears throat> Targanium. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce the chick's name or whatever. That does not look like the actress. Uh, okay, it, it, Emily Clark. Yeah, that's no. her name, right? That doesn't look like her face to me. I've heard others say that too. Yeah. This is three zero. If you like squint from afar, maybe, but when it's close to that, no. Really far, yeah. Like it's a smoky bar situation. Yeah. And you're drunk. Yeah. I don't know. There's like no life or expression in the face either. It's just like straight lip, straight eyes, just like no expression at all. Like not happy, mean, like nothing. Oh, kind of like, uh, yeah, Marvel, just, Captain Marvel. Yeah, yeah. That's what the one thing. <laughs> okay. And then uh, they're also doing um, Jean Grey chick here. 
It looks a little bit more like that. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's not hot toys, but three zero like you do mm -hmm. make some expensive stuff. I do expect you to <sighs> hire better sculptors. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. It's something's all, like th there's no ex expression in the faces. Yeah. It's like they're just like what's what's the most like blank look? Brie Larson. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just, just like don't don't act mad, happy, sad, anything mm -hmm. like that. Just complete neutral. That's mm -hmm. the that's the one skull. And by the way, that's the only face we're gonna include in this. How how much are these figures even going for? A couple hundred bucks, probably. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, just the one and, and this hundred and eighty nine dollar package. Jeez, no way. No, thank you. Yeah. Eh. This is uh, Asmus. <laughs> probably saying that wrong. I I can look at that and be. It's not perfect. It's not hot, toy, but I can tell that's Orlando Bloom. Mm. Yeah. You see that? Oh yeah, yeah. I've I saw some pictures of this already. Uh -huh. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it, it, it's it's not perfect. I just boxed up all this stuff from uh, Sideshow from years ago when I was first collecting Sideshow. I just boxed those up last year. Yeah, it also makes me think like, how long does it take you guys to like make these figures? Because like. It's not like you're like coming out with them like off the heels of the popularity of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it's been yeah, years yeah, ago. You know, the yeah, the two towers, like, dude, that that was the second. They've they've released four more Lord of the Rings movies since then. Yeah. So, uh, Mondo, one six scale. Mondo, that already Jodor. sold out, gone. Yep. Oh, he's no gone. Surprise. He's gone. Yep. Sold out in like five minutes. I'm happy with my Skeletor. And get the hold up right there. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah. It's a cool effect, yeah. Uh, is this, oh, this is the Samurai Batman. I mean, the Batman and the Catwoman, they don't look that bad. But the, the story, like, you can already see it here, man. Yeah. All the villains, they all have their, like, individual immortal engine cities just mechs the cities are mechs mm -hmm. and just rolling around <laughs> i think i saw that i remember seeing the trailer and then i remember you said it was like the worst thing ever made and i was like yeah i'm not watching it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's the only dc animated film that i'm like no nah, I, I i'm not even gonna finish this just the look of the Joker, I just couldn't compute it. My head is like, yeah. no, I just refuse to believe. It's like, but it's good. No, it's not. No, didn't watch it. <laughs> Don't do it. Like, I like Batman. I like Samurais. <laughs> I like a lot of stuff from Japan. I don't yeah. like this, though. I, I, you don't have to mix everything. No. Nope. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they just don't mix. Yeah. I like sushi and I like Jello, but I don't want a sushi flavored Jello. You know, it's like yeah, that, that not, every, weird. not not everything has to go. You know, it's uh, it's like Hasbro, man. It's like guys, I'm telling you, like Transformers, uh, Marvel stuff, dude, together. Star Wars, yeah. Transformers together, like it'll it'll work. It's like oh. oh. Yeah, just like, like my little pony and Transformers, yeah, right? Exactly, that yeah. works, right? Oh my goodness! Yeah. We don't need Buckcon. We can get Hascon. Wait, what happened to that? Oh yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Now here's a uh, Hot Toys. Do uh, uh, are these things? Yeah, they're are those separate? It looks like that's pretty cool. If they're all separate like that, nice. I still want Bucky to take up the mantle kind of thing. It's like, uh, I know it, this is true to comics, great, uh, fine, but right. it's not Bucky. I want Bucky to be first. Everybody might get a shot before it's over. 
Mm. <laughs> you never know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I do like this figure. I like it's going to be it's going to look really nice on a shelf. Give it the space it needs. But I quite liked Falcon and Winter Soldier for what it was. It, it was a good series. It it yeah. got political at the end, and yeah, it got a little, it got a little, really it got a little too woke for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just like really. I was like, you're doing a pretty good job of just kind of telling the story there. Yeah. Uh, what about each other's favorite sushi? No, I was just talking about uh, how all these brands always try to like, hey, if you you like this thing, you like this thing, let's put them together. And I was just making the examples like, I really like sushi. I like Jello too. I don't want sushi flavored Jello though. Yeah. Oh, and look at that. I figure he comes with the wings. Imagine that. Wow. Uh, so two things left. Uh, what what about you, Rick? On this one, I oh. we we got the Clone Wars one on pre order. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm getting this no matter. I'm you Ahsoka. All, I'm a hundred percent Ahsoka in on almost everything. Not quite everything, but I'm passing on yeah. this one. I've got the the I got some hot toys that just arrived and they're both from Mandalorian. I haven't opened them yet, but eventually I'm going to have a pretty big Mandalorian, you know, hot toy set up and you got to have her. But isn't like a hit if you want to call it hair. Was it supposed to be longer? I didn't mm. think that like you could cut that. Is oh, uh I forgot what uh what was the last uh, Star Wars film she was in? The last season of Clone Wars? Uh, yeah, I guess so. No, um, uh, well, I guess you can say that, but you're also you're talking Rebels? about uh, Rebels. Yeah, she was in Rebels, too. Yeah. It's just they seem longer, and then in, obviously in The Mandalorian, they seem like a oh, lot Oh, yeah, longer. and higher. Mm. I don't know whether that's purposely done, or it's just like, oh... Pro- I, I would license. assume so. Yeah. It probably I, I would imagine if you're like moving real around world. a lot and you have that big heavy thing on yeah. your head, then dude, you don't want that sticker flying off. And yeah, uh, also, yeah, uh, I bet they, I bet they looked at it three or four different sizes as they went, and then mm. landed on the one that looked the best on film. Also, uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Rosario. Dawson, she's very talented, and we don't need her little head head piece like covering up too much, you know. So yeah, that's true. Okay. <clears throat> I went the Dakota route too, and I got the the Grogu version. Surprising still to this day, like when I call it Baby Yoda, people are like, it's not Baby Yoda. I know. But... <laughs> All right, look at this is the last one. Just look at a few of these hot toys. So get your Nightwing, get your Batman Beyond. Oh, that's nice. Which I want to like it, yet? but I'm stuck in mm-hmm. my actual animated. Uh, uh, Batman Beyond is like ah, oh, it just it doesn't look quite. The Deathstroke, uh, it 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 has gives me some feels. Let's see, let's get back to the. Oh, that movie does finally comes out in July. Doesn't it feel like it was supposed to come out like three years ago at this point? Yeah, it feels <laughs> like it. Yeah. Oh, we already we already seen this armor. Yeah. I mean, you can't even go uh, watch the movie when it comes out and be like, you know what? I want to go buy those figures. <laughs> right. I mean, the last time, usually I know what I want, right? And like, I don't buy, I try not to buy anything that I'm like, I, I don't have to have it. Uh, the first time I watched Pacific Rim 
and theaters. I was like, dude, I want to go to Toys R Us and see if they got any of those specific rim figures. Cause yeah. you know, it, it had, you know, it had, the movie hyped you up, you know, mm-hmm. then when you got the Toys R Us, you remember the, the neck at, you know, like, man, this, this stuff's going to break on me. <laughs> so just, just left, left it on the shelf there. I think that was it. Uh, Let's see. Uh, okay. Can I play it without uh without volume with that? No, no, no. Copyright strike, you know. <laughs> I don't think we can. Yeah. Why? Why is the quality so terrible? The highest is this is how old this movie is. The highest quality is 480p. <laughs> All right, so these kids are playing basketball. Everyone can see this, right? Yeah. We'll go. Like, oh, I can beat you. You want to go one on one with me? It's like, yeah, come on, go one on one. She's like, I look at her. She's like, oh, because she, she's a cat. Look, a little like, it's like a, like a ball of yarn. Yeah. yeah, and then she's doing flips, and no one thinks this is like, well, that's not normal. <laughs> so it's still not cringy yet, you know. It's like, oh, let's take off our jackets. God, how long is this thing? Okay, it's only a minute. So he's all like trying to be cool. Yeah, look at all these moves. And then she's still like, oh, let me act like a cat. <laughs> and then look at her all like humping each other and stuff. Jeez. And look at her, she's not even guarded. You'll have to just go watch this on your own with the sound. Oh, yeah. it, it, it's even worse. And look at yeah. it. It's just. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, look, look, y'all are like being real. It look looks ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Somehow this made it in the final movie. Yeah. <laughs> and she That's, goes Air Jordan on him. It's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, here you are, kid. Sorry, we, you know, just dry humped all in front of you nice. and your friends. So, just a little foreplay on the court. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, man. I mean, it is the cringiest part of the. So, Somewhat okay. Homework assignment for viewers and everything, people that watch. Uh, I just kind of thought of that off the top of my head. I think that's one of the cringiest moments in like movie history. Let's do it within the past, whatever. When did that movie come out? I don't even, I don't even remember. Oh, what movie yeah, I don't remember. Was it, it 90s? Right, 2008. It was the 90s, right? The it's early like 2000s, it. wasn't it? What? Oh, yeah. must have been. Yeah, no excuse yeah. for that cringe. Early 2000s. Man. Oh God! I put Catwoman in. It's gonna bring me up all. Uh, is this it? Two thousand four? Yeah. Oh, I was close. Okay, two two thousand four. So let's uh let's say this. Uh, next week when we come on, someone bring up like if you think you can beat my cringiest, the one that I just showed you, then you you let us know. <laughs> <laughs> we can Talk look at that. that. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean, I just threw it on the table, so <laughs> that's gonna be a hard one to beat, boys. <laughs> Let's say it's made, yeah, you know, since two thousands on. So, all right, uh, let me go ahead and sign out. Been almost uh, two and a half hours, so um, yeah. Rick, where can they find you, man? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Shattered Glass Jazz. You can find me on, uh, well, my team's uh, Facebook page and Instagram on War Dogs Paintball. We shoot each other with paintball guns, and that that's pretty much self-explanatory, yeah. Wow. Hey, you can find me here on YouTube at Sportimus, and on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as Sportimus Prime. 
And you can find me, G1Xron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook page, the G1Xron. And I'm going to start doing some streams on Twitch, which is also G1Xron as well. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Excuse me. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Peace.